Okay, I think we're basically ready, more or less. Let's see, let me readjust that just a little bit. Why? Okay, we're gonna do that. Um. Okay, so we're more or less ready. Last time, yesterday, I did try to stream this, but what happened was it just kind of became technical issues to stream, more or less. So, uh, we're starting it now from scratch. This is an achievement run through Retro Achievements. Uh, however, uh, I was hoping the pop-ups would show up when I got a when I got a uh, achievement. But that didn't happen. So the best I'm gonna have to do is when an achievement pops up, I have a the website pulled up. So when it updates, these will fill in. That is the best I'm gonna have to do. So at the moment, let's just get this going. Scottbot, descendant of the legendary warrior Roto, or Erdrick, or Loto, anything works. We've been awaiting your arrival. Long ago, the legendary warrior Erdrick was given the ball of light by the gods. With its powers, he defeated the demons that had covered this world. Then, the evil king dragon, or the dragon lord, appeared. He stole the ball of light and sealed it away in darkness. Before long, this world may be totally enveloped and destroyed by this darkness. Hero Scottbot, please defeat Keen Dragon and return the ball of light by any means possible. Just finished Dragon Quest 1 a few months ago. Very nice. Uh, this is going to be an achievement run through Retro Achievements, so there's going to be more going on. And we'll also be playing Dragon Quest 2 as well. Uh, which version did you play, by the way, Twink? If you open the treasure chest over there, the contents should aid you in your journey. Also, if you speak to the soldiers in this room, they could give you important information about your journey. Well then, be off, Hero Scottbot. I'm gonna make one slight change. Move, shift that over. There, there we go. Okay, so... The first, uh... You got a remake on Switch. Very nice. That's uh, basically the mobile port. I am currently playing the Super Nintendo version of 1 and 2. But our first thing to do is to open a few chests. We get 120 gold. Torch. And we get a magic key. And we got our first achievement there. Sadly, you can't see it unless I basically pull up the website, do a refresh... You can see that filled in. That's like how, that's basically how I'm gonna handle this. It's the best I can do. I'm about to start emulating four. My goal for twenty four is to try to play as many Dragon Quest games as I can as I can. Very nice. Uh, just mainline stuff, or just or like any Dragon Quest stuff. And I'm assuming you play two and three by now. Scottbot, do you know about Princess Laura? No! Princess Laura is the only beloved daughter of the king. So when the queen passed away, Princess Gr Greywin helped support the king's broken heart. You're done with one, two, three. Very nice. Um, wait. Is that a mystery? When the queen died, Princess Grey... I think that's supposed to be Princess Laura? I don't, I don't know. Princess Laura's... Healed the queen's heart. Graylin was the queen, or something. I don't know. Then half a year ago, the princess was kidnapped by demons. The king doesn't ever speak about that. But I know he is suffering from the depths of his heart. Scotland, please go forth and rescue Princess Laura. When you leave the castle, you'll see a town in the vicinity. You can purchase weapons and armor there. If you are wounded in battle, please return to the town and stay at the end. So your wounds will heal. Which version of 4 are you going to be playing, by the way? 
When you open the che treasure chest, you should find a magic key. The key will disappear after you use it once. So you can only use it, open one door with each of those keys. Your journey will now begin. You're gonna emulate the NES version? Okay, interesting choice. Uh, I have played the mobile version of 4, which is basically a more or less port of the DS version. And that's a really good version. So, I have not tried the NES version myself. Actually, I haven't played the NES versions of 1, 2, and 3, for that matter, as well. A record of your journey can be written in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. When you return from a break, it can be re resumed where you left off. Your computer doesn't like DS emulation? Ah, I see. If you ever want to rest from your travels, come back. The king will record your journey for for you in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. Yeah, no, uh, the mobile version of 4, 5, and 6 are basically ports of the DS version on a single screen. And actually, the, the mobile version of 4 is, in America anyway, is technically the best version. <laughs> Sadly. This is Radatome, uh, Radatomic, uh, this is Radatome. Many people would gather here since this place was a paradise. Then all the demons appeared. <sighs> oh, Princess Laura, where could she be? Could it be she's dead? Oh no, what a, what an unsettling thought. Scott, please forget what I just said. I am a traveling merchant. Many of my colleagues were killed by minions of King Dragon. Because of this, I've collected mortifying and sorrowful memories of those times. Did you hear? No. Rumor has it that there is a town that was destroyed by the demons. Did I hear? Yes! I'm shocked! <laughs> What's that? I haven't really tried the series until I started this project. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, uh... This game is one of is big Dracula's one is definitely a product of his time being like the first JRPG. It's so simple that it kind of like it is too simple for most people to like get into it, but at the same time it is also so simple that it could be beaten in a few hours that it's kind of a fun experience on its own. I don't know. To gain experience at levels you must fight monsters. When you do that, hero Scapa you may rise to the next level, and you become stronger. You gotta remember, Dragon Quest 1 was the first, like, console JRPG. My girlfriend and I will be together until the day we die. But will the day- But will that day come that my feelings will be shattered by the demons? When I am together with my boyfriend, I forget about the darkness that continues to blake in our world. However, that is a lie. If the world is destroyed, he says that our love will be too. It's also really old, like Dragon Quest 2. Yeah, um, 1 and 2 came out before Final Fantasy 1, and 3 was like a few months after Final Fantasy 1 in Japan. A magic key is necessary to open this door. Also, I hear that the magic key will break after one use. Kind of a crappy key when you really think about it. <laughs> yeah, I can't open these doors. Yeah. What do we got here? I found a me medicinal herb. Nothing in there. Didn't find anything. When you enter a cave, it is good to have a torch because caves are filled with the powers of darkness. Filled? Caves are filled with the powers of darkness. They're not just dark. No, 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 no. There's some external source causing the darkness. Oh, yeah, no. Um, Dragon Quest 2 had a... Uh, had definitely a development history tied to it. Oh, Princess Laura. Oh. Yeah, did you know that that's Dragon Quest 2? I'm assuming you're referring to, like, the enemy balance and, like, especially in the Cave to Rome, right? Did you know that's actually the easier variant? That when they made the game, they never play tested it. And it was just so difficult, apparently. That. They had, like, a few months to playtest it, and all they could really do was, like, change the enemies' levels and stuff. And just do constant playtest, playtest, playtest. We got the version of just after the constant playtest. Apparently, 
the original version of Dragon Quest II that never got released, like, bef like the beta version, was even harder. When the Dragon of Darkness spreads its wings, it marks the arrival of the descendant of Roto, or Loto, or Erdrick. May the light shine upon the darkness, O oh gods. May the light shine upon the hero of legend, Scott Bach. Where's the girl? Yeah, uh... I do understand why I would be annoyed of each character you get being level 1 when you get them. However, their level curve is kind of balanced with that in mind. It is kind of balanced with that in mind. Like, by the time you get to the end of Dragon Quest 2, she'll be, like, a few levels under from your other two mem you your other two party members, but she still, stat-wise, is around your level. So I think they kind of kept that in mind. I don't know. Hard to say. Welcome to the town of Radatome. This is a translate. I had two versions of the translation I could have chose. The more Japanese version or the Americanized versions. And I chose the Japanese versions. I don't know why. I, I could probably just swap it if I want to. Talk across the counter. This is the weapon shop. How may I help you? So our main goal is we're going to be saving up for a copper sword. That is the first thing I'm going to be working on. When you leave this town to travel, be wary of bridges. Terrible monsters are waiting to strike unprepared travelers. I'm a traveling merchant from the town of Garai, which is far to the north of this town. It's a small town on the northeast peninsula. With every move I made, I was swarmed under by horrible... Asunder... Swarmed asunder by horrible monsters. It has been a mor miraculous and depressing struggle just to live. It is too bad we never officially got the Super Nintendo version, because this is honestly probably my favorite version. Although, the plus side for the Switch versions is it has the orchestrated soundtrack, I'll give it that. Whoever is there, please inform the king of our situation. The rescue party for Princess Laura was wiped out. Before long... Oh. Before long, I will succumb, succumb to the same fate. Yeah, that got adjusted. There we go. Uh, this is what happens when you bump the table. Ah, uh, uh, no, I wanted to talk to you. The legendary min uh, minstrel Garai played a silver harp. I heard it was buried with him inside his grave. You played a lot of Dragon Quest? I have played every mainline series Dragon Quest game. Not counting 10, because 1, that's not here, and 2, that's the online MMO. Even though we're supposed to be getting uh, the offline version, but I don't know what's going on there. And I still technically need to beat 6 on the phone. I just either hit burned out, or 6 is just not doing it for me. But I played every other one, at least in some form. I'm starting some spells that will help undo a curse. If you have, if you are ever cursed, come to me. I'll certainly help you. Uh, I do have a lot of different versions. Uh, with Dragon Quest one and two, one, two, and three, I have the Game Boy Color variants as well as the Switch versions. Did you know? No. It seems there is a town somewhere that sells magic keys. Oh, interesting. Did you know? Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's so disappointed that he couldn't give me a hint. Are you the descendant of Roto? Do you have any proof? Yes. Huh? You don't have the symbol. Only true descendants of Roto bear proof. I do not have proof. Only true descendants bear proof. Oh, okay, thanks for the help. Yeah, no, uh... I, I think I tell people that if you want to get into Dragon Quest, just start with 11. 11's a great starting point. South of Radatome Castle, on the other side of the sea, you'll see another castle that is shrouded by thick fog. That is King Dragon's Castle. It is unimaginably frightful. Item shop? What do we got here? You wanna buy something? 
What's the dragon? Oh, that's a accessory, isn't it? Right. I still want to get the copper sword. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a good time with four, because I actually really enjoyed that one. No, I'm not Princess Laura, but hey, you're one handsome stud. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Uh, I will say, when you get to five, that is, five is one of the ones that everyone loves. Most, like, mainly plot and gameplay, like, you're gonna have fun with five. Me, on the other hand, I've, I played it the one time. Story-wise, I did enjoy it. Gameplay-wise, I had a little bit of issues. Take, take care when walking into poison swamps. You will lose life and become weaker with each step. Not that the gameplay was bad, but it does the whole... Uh, it does the whole monster catching thing, or monster recruiting. It was doing that before Pokemon was. And... Uh, the Dragon Quest V just kind of does that a little bit too much. And, like, I don't know what monsters, to, like, to recruit, if that makes sense. And not only that, the monsters recruiting and joining your team, it seems very low, so I just thought that was kind of my issue with five, And but that's me on a first playthrough sort of thing, but yeah. Yeah, go ahead and lurk in all you want, because right now we are doing level grinding, or I should say money grinding, but we will be doing level grinding. This is just what it is for a little while. Got two gold, very nice. We're better off hanging out in the mountains. For red slimes. Am I already about to... I have no spells. Oh, I did defeat it. Well then. That was bad. <laughs> that was awful. That red slime almost killed me. Three gold? Well, I still made a profit of three gold. This is going to take a while. I might be better off hanging out, like, over here, maybe. That way I'm closer to the town. Sadly, I have no healing at the moment. But you want to do the level... Uh, the last few times I played this, I specifically just didn't buy anything and went straight for the copper sword. And I felt that was a little bit better. So I could get some of these kills faster. You know, get more... That means you get more gold. Well, let me see. Kind of taking a glance at the achievements. And I know I only got the one. It looks like I can get one now, but I want to focus on get the copper sword for at the moment. Ooh. There we go. Yay, we got a level. We're now level two. Strength has increased by two. HP has increased by seven. We found four gold. And I should just head back and heal. Oh, uh, I can't survive this. I can't survive this. <laughs> that was all. <laughs> that was going to be a disaster. Because if you die, it's not a game over. You will start back at, your, at, at the save. However, you lose half your gold. And when I want the copper sword, uh, we don't want to do that. We definitely don't want to lose half our gold. How much will I need? It was like 180, I believe. Yeah, 180. Again, I find it's better to just save up for the copper sword. What do I have anyway? Um, status. Well, that makes sense. I have no weapons. 
No weapons, no armor, nothing. You really start, you start with absolutely nothing with you. Except for you're given a torch and 120 gold. Get to grinding. You may be the descendant of the legendary hero. But that doesn't mean they're gonna just give you everything to work. But no, you gotta earn it. Earn that gold. And here's the thing. While I have not played the original NES version, I hear uh, with every version after the NES version, they lowered the, the amount of EXP. Or I should say each, I think what they did was they gave every enemy like double EXP and double gold drops or something like that. Just to make the grind, less, make it less of a grind. Like it was even more grindy back in the original NES version, apparently. But yeah, it's too bad we don't have, we, did, we never officially got this version on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we did get the Game Boy version of this, which is basically has all the same changes just on the Game Boy. And it's, it's not a bad one. I do have that one, as well as the Dragon Quest III on Game Boy Color. That's also basically based on the Super Nintendo version. But other than those versions, we didn't really get a new version of Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 until the mobile versions. And then... The Switch version, by extension. At least I can just basically play this with one hand right now. Thank you, Super Nintendo, for having an L button. That's the thing with Dragon Quest 1. It's that simple... Where it, you know, I could just play this game with one hand. It's not complicated whatsoever. But it's also kind of fun in the fact that it's not that complicated. I mean, sure, right now I'm grinding for money and it's kind of repetitive, but, you know. You know, you gotta you got start, got start somewhere. How much gold do I have? Uh, is it status? Kind of dumb, I have to check status, though. Alright. I have 154. I think once we get to level 3... Uh... We'll be able to grind for longer. What was that, two hits on the web red slime? Jeez, one level makes that much of a difference. And again... No equipment right now. There we go. Level 3. Strength increased by 2. Speed increased by 2. Vitality increased by 1. HP increased by 2. Max MP increased by 4. We learned the heal spell. We found 2 gold. So, now that we have the heal spell, what we should do is go back here. To the castle, not the town. For train instead of going to the inn because what we could do we talk to this guy on the right and when he praises the gods the goddess may light shine upon uh, sh shine upon you it recovers your MP for free now I think I'm fully healed am I fully healed Where's my max? Oh. Max HP 24. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you could just keep talking to this guy and get a full uh, magic restore. So. That will save you money on the inn. But again, I had to get to level 3 to get to that. Still gonna train out over here. Now I can grind for just a little bit longer. How much money do I have? 62. 
We're almost there. Another 18 gold. Yeah, red slimes can now defeat it in one attack now. And again, no copper sword needed. Sadly, I do think that the battle music is not that great. I don't even think it really has a, much of a melody to it to really hum to. I don't know. I, I do think it's the weakest battle theme. Yeah, it's just not my favorite. And when I say weakest battle theme, I don't, I don't mean of all the Dragon Quest games, although I do think that applies. I think out of, like, any RPG, I think Dragon Quest 1's battle theme is one of the weakest I've heard. Okay, I need six more gold. This should give me two more. All right. I need four more gold, and then we could get a copper sword. One more slime should do the trick. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go buy the Copper Sword. What would I like to buy? The Copper Sword! Would I like to equip it? Yes, I would. It's best to equip things after, right after you purchase them. Well, let's see... Plain clothes, leather clothes... And a leather shield. We're probably going to try to grind for these. But I think we have a better spot now since I have the sword. There's also the dragon scale that I could buy for 20 gold. I think that's a... Uh... Hold on. Uh, armor and shield are the other two equipment slots. But I think the dragon scale... Is, it just sticks in the item slot and you t in some ways equip it, quote unquote. Um, okay. So there's one thing I'm gonna do before doing more grinding. I wanna find another slime. Okay. So, now that I have a copper sword, I don't care if anything happens. I am... Wait, I can't... Yeah, there's no defend command. I forgot, that's not a thing. So, I think I want to flee? There we go. That is one achievement right there. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to get that. Slash it, I mean, now I will. But yeah, one achievement is basically spare a slime. And I guess in this case, it just means running, a running away. But how's it going, hot corn dog? Right now, I just did a little bit of grinding so I could get myself a copper sword. Now I'm stronger. So right now I'm going to go and, oops, hold on, let me use the heal spell, and then get my MP back. Yeah, I know, I spent 30 minutes already, and I only got two achievements so far, <laughs> as well as one copper sword. All right. Let's, while I do want to grind, I think the copper sword might be able to carry me for a little bit. I want to go up to over here. Oh, Drakis. 
See what I mean? Getting a copper sword right away just kills these early guys quickly. Yeah, we want to go into that cave. And again, there's a lot of things in Dragon Quest 1 that are just completely optional. So, as you can see with caves, uh, <laughs> you can't see anything. You need, you basically need a torch. And even then, it's not that helpful. You played some Fallout with vanilla playthrough. And after some setup and running across the calm health at level 2. Now, you're now level 22 and fighting restricted. Oh, you just fought enemies early? Uh, higher level enemies early? Are you? I'm doing fine. Oh, uh, last night at my movie theater, they were airing uh, Batman the Dark Knight, and I went to go see it. Uh, still an amazing film. The Dark Knight's still a great film. Uh, I see. Anyway. So it's exploring this cave that actually has no enemies. But once we get to the end, and we did get an achievement for this, I'll show it here in a sec. We read the tombstone. The message is etched, etched into it. Actually, no. Descendant, my name is Roto, or Erdrick. Three items were necessary to cross to the Island of Evil, which can be seen from Ronatome Castle. I collected these items, crossed to the island, and defeated the Evil King. I then entrusted those items to the three wise men in the kingdom. Their descendants protect those items and await your arrival. When an evil demon arise, arises once again on the island, collect these, those items and slay the creature. Three men await your arrival somewhere in this land. Go forth, my descendant. Yeah, so at the end of this cave... We found the grave of the legendary hero. And it's basically saying, hey, there's three items that let, it, let me got, go into the castle. I gave them to basically three other people. Go find them. And that's the goal. That's our direction. And for checking the grave, we got an achievement for that. Again, you don't actually have to check the grave. Thanks, d thanks, dead at ancestor for giving me direction of where I need to go. Uh, yeah, you actually don't. There's actually a lot of things in Dragon Quest One you don't have to do, or you can just, if you know where what what to do ahead of time, you could just go and do it. Dragon Quest 1 is very open world for its time. Like, the world map itself has no barriers other than to the other than to the castle to the Dragon Lord. The only thing stopping you from going to like all these other areas uh is just the enemy encounters. Speaking of which, I, I still want to gather a little bit more money, but I think we are about ready to do a little bit of gr uh, a grinding exploit. If we go like Fallout 1, like Fallout 1. I don't know, I haven't played Fallout. Okay, the next couple of achievements are not going to be for like another town. That's fine. So. To the left of the castle, left and south, we find a red slime. Clearly. So. And we also gain a level. Vitality by one, HP and MP. Seven. And we learned Fireball. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to the castle and uh, get my MP back. Yeah, this game is very open. Again, other than to the Dragon King's castle, the Dragon Lord, 
everything is open. Nothing's stopping you except for enemy encounters. That is the only thing stopping you. But here's the thing, you can tell when you're about to go into a stronger area because if you it's cross crossing a bridge. That's how you know when you're gonna fight stronger enemies. It's very subtle. So yeah, if we go left and south to this mountain range, we're still fighting red slimes. By the way, mountains have higher encounter rates. The bridge says all. If we hang out on this bottom set right here of the mountains. I think it should still work. It should still work. Maybe in I don't I don't think this was fixed. Or is it like these two? Why am I only fighting red slimes? I know in the original NES version, you can use this area to... Okay, something's not right. Did I not go far enough? Because, like, that set of squares at the bottom of the mountain range, at least in the NES version, it, it was technically giving you a different set of encounters. Like, to the later enemies. And if you play your cards right, you could get a few kills what's my money situation 54 I think I need 70 and 90 for new equipment but yeah the mountain tiles are really just an encounter rate increase not anything stronger per se did I have to go all the way around nope Okay, I see. There's the bridge. We don't want to cross it. <laughs> because that's for stronger enemies. And I'm so far away from the main town, you know. Did this version, like, patch it out or something? Because there was a way for you to fight the stronger enemies in that bottom set of mountain tiles. I don't know what happened. Would you like to hear my song, Traveler? Sure. Well then. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I'm not really that great. Thank you very much. I'm actually training right now, but someday I want to become as talented as Garai. Welcome to Garai, the town of ancient of the ancient minstrel. What do we got here? Weapon shop. More like weapon and armor. You see, like. It was worth getting the copper sword because look at how much gold you would need to buy an iron axe. Just grab the cop, take the time to grind for the copper sword immediately. Leather clothes is 70 gold, which I can almost get, but look at like the chain mail. Yeah, it's a big increase, but look at how much gold you would need to grind for just to get it. And look at the iron shield too. The leather shield's like 90 gold. We're not going to be getting those for a little bit. We came from a lot Radatome. There was a cave flap halfway uh, on your way here. That cave is said to be for uh, for the worship of the legendary hero Urdric. Very long ago, after a lengthy struggle, the minstrel Garai ended his long journey in this land and built this town. Therefore, this place is called the town of Garai. I saw everything! A monster kidnapped the princess of Radatome! and flew her to the east. Is there any brave person who can help the princess? No, there isn't. There, no one can save her. Oh, the poor princess. No, so he said east, not to the castle. It sounds like the princess is in another castle. <laughs> oh, there is? Then please tell that person that the princess was taken to the east. Okay, I'll tell him. Medusa, uh, dragon scale. I'm. I'll probably buy the dragon scale at some point. There's not much here other than super expensive equipment. 
we can't enter that door because we have no magic keys. So there's nothing else to check. I think we'll probably just head back to town so I could buy an upgraded equipment. By the time I get there, I should have enough to buy at least one of them. Either the armor or the shield. What's up here? Oh no, a ghost! Yeah, again, I'm the only real reason I'm, I'm playing Dragon Quest is because of the tragic passing of Akira Toriyama. He did do the artwork for Dragon Quest, and it shows. So this is kind of in honor of Akira Toriyama. Even though I probably should be going with a Dragon Ball, but you know, hey, I like Dragon Quest. I had to go to one specific spot just to get a book that allows you to build some statues. The statue gives a lot of EXP. A perk called uh, Idiot Servant gives th times three EXP randomly at rank one. That sounds, yeah, that sounds really good there soon. Yeah, it's very tragic. Anyway. Uh... I think I'm going a little bit too far. Yeah, Poison Swamp, we don't want to go that way just yet. I want to head back to town. But I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't have like, I only have like two Dragon Ball games. Granted, I know there's like a bunch of Dragon Ball games that came out in like, you know, before Budokai. <laughs> that didn't make it over here, but I don't know. Can't you tell I like RPGs? <laughs> based on my, uh, based on what I play? Alright, uh, let's go and buy, I think it's, oh, I, I think I could buy a shield instead. Let's see. Eh, it's the same defense either way. Buy the leather shield, though. At least get some extra defense. And then I actually have enough gold to go and buy the, the dragon scale. Oh, so, there we go. Yeah, now I spent all my gold. Uh, item. Dragon scale. You use it. You equip the dragon scale, basically. It's like a separate equipment slot. Oh, yeah. You only have, like, a total of... One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, you only have, like, a total of, like, ten equipment slots in total. Make it count. Granted, like, some stuff sacks, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright. I don't need healing, so I think we could probably just head straight for the next town. Wait, did I even check down here? I don't remember. Is there anything down here? Honestly, if this was a later Dragon Quest game, there would totally be a mini metal there. There'd be a mini metal right there. All right. Well, since my level grinding uh, spot just doesn't seem to be here, let's go move on to the next town, or try to, anyway. I think the dragon scale gives you extra defense. I think I'm gonna look it up. Just one dragon. All right, time to cross the bridge. We're in new enemy territory. Or we should be, anyway. Keep going. 
Or is it after, or in this case, is it, oh no, two bridges, I think, in this case. Now we're in new enemy territory. We move up. Ah, Magidraki. But I don't have anything too specific, so we'll just go with physical attacks. I might need to turn the tech speed a little bit lower. It might be just a little too fast, but only by a little bit. I only, I might only need to drop it down by like one or two speeds. Twenty-three. Oh wow, like nine HP. Let's see. Uh, increases your defense by two. Oh, wait, I think that's the original NES version. In the mobile version, it increases it by five. So, the dragon scale is not something I'll probably keep long term. But here we go, next town. Good day. This is the village of Myra. Hey, get a load of this. The husband of the of poor Cleo over there's skipped town to buy some magic keys. That good for nothing man left behind his lovely wife. I mean, really? Uh, that's all right. I didn't want to be a burden on his dreams. Kind of depressing. <laughs> Oh no, the shop doesn't have the legendary, the legendary sword either, after all I went through. What do you have, though? So let's see, we could buy an iron axe. We could save up for iron armor. Look at that. Just for us, or we could get steel armor. Look at that. Look at that. For an extra 2,000 gold, you can get extra 8 defense points. So, so far the other town has a shield... But this one has steel armor, I see. And how many how much gold was Magic Drackies giving me? Hey you! I can see that's I can see that soon when a beautiful woman looks upon the face of the hero. She will fall in love. What a lucky person. <laughs> I heard a rumor that there is a town there is a shop in the town of uh Moldar that sells keys. Wait, we're, uh, in the town of Rundar. Okay, that's all we got. Okay, good to know. I want to talk to you. Have you already traveled to the island south of here? No, I didn't. I hear that Rumadar is on the island to the south. Well, now we know where to go. Let's see. Let's talk to you. Welcome. This is the open air bath. Ooh. And this is the end. What do you have to say? Uh, oh, how wonderful. Oh, I, I don't think I want to bother him right now. Hey, good looking. How would you like a puff puff? It's only 20 gold. Hell yeah. All right, then. Let's start. Puff, puff, puff. Puff, puff, puff. Puff, puff, puff. Puff, puff, puff. Isn't that wonderful? Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Well then, please come again. Totally worth it. And you might have heard. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, that, there was achievement for getting a Puff Puff. Getting there with free hearts since the area has a lot of high-level enemies, as well as Sting uh, Wings. Sting Wings are tanky, but they move very fast. Apply Venom instead of Casual Poison. Ooh, that sounds annoying. Once I got near the area, I need to get the book. Set the game to very easy. Do that before the... Hmm. Do you get less experience for setting it to very easy or something? Found plain clothes. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't buy it then. Uh, plain clothes. 
We tried using it as an item, but nothing happened. Uh, status? Equip? There we go. Plain clothes. Ah, uh, I see. It's technically an accessory. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I didn't buy them. I, I didn't know they were there. We found a strength seed. And we found nothing. It doesn't lower your experience? Huh. So, honestly, it just sounds like if you're going to do that type of level grinding, you want to set it to easy just so you have, you're more likely to survive. So, new to the Super Nintendo version is the these stat boosting seeds that you can pick up. There is no reason not to use it. We, my strength increased by three. Let's see. If I talk to you. Hero Scottbot, defendant of Roto. You can't defeat the keen dragon with that weapon. This should be a sword that Roto left behind somewhere in this land. Seek it out. I see. You don't need the sword, but it is the strongest weapon. So it's got that going for it. I hear that the golem, a gigantic monster, has a weakness for the sound of a flute. Hey, Act, it's been a while. How's it going? You will not have the power to defeat the monster if you only fight it. Says you! You need to think about your opponent's weaknesses. Says you! I'm gonna beat that golem without the flute. Inside the cave to the south, someone said they saw a beautiful woman. However, that cave is full of monsters. So there can't be any- there can't be a beautiful woman in there! I guess I, I was just- I guess he was just seeing things. What's been going on, Act? What do we got in the item shop? Ah, uh, Wing of Chimeras, Dragon Scales, eh, nothing, really. Actually, I might want to consider buying a torch. Yeah, I should grab one. Because caves, you know, you can't see anything in there. You kind of- you kind of need a torch. Good. Almost out of. Oh yeah, that is true. Like, we're almost uh, gonna get a new chapter. That's not this week though. It's the next Sunday, right? Or next week, I should say. Clearly, they haven't seen me slaughter all the slimes. Yeah, the Dragon Lord should fear me. Don't you see how much I'm one-shotting these slimes? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, the giant scorpion. Four damage, takes three. Yeah, I should lower the tech speed. It does go a little bit too fast to read. But if you don't need to read the game or anything, and you're just playing the game casually, it's nice to have, a, have it at this speed, you know? You see the latest anime episode? Damage. Oh, no. I have not seen the newer anime stuff, honestly. I probably should, though. But at the same time, pacing anime is so awful that I just kind of don't want to. But, yeah. I need to watch some of those uh, later stuff. The last time I left off in the anime was um, somewhere in Whole Cake. The pacing was just so bad, I was just getting tired of it. How many times do I need to see, like, Luffy's and Sanji's confrontation, where Luffy says, if you don't come back, I'm gonna starve or something like that. I got, I got so tired of seeing that every time. So you're Scottbot. I hear that you're journeying to defeat King Dragon. However, King Dragon is a malevolent creature. And for that reason, I would regret letting you go, knowing you can witness defeat. Scottbot, I want to test your strength. Okay. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, I think we're, we're supposed to come back later. But he clearly did not give any information on what I should be doing. But yeah, we gotta remember to come back there later. 
Oh yeah, Act, have you ever played any Dragon Quest game before? Let's see. Uh, we will want to go south, but I am worried I need to level up. How much gold do I have? 107. Hmm. This is getting really popular. Yes! This is the really popular game in Japan. At least I'm one shiny mages. 16 gold. That's not bad. But it's not going to be enough to grind. I don't think it's going to be worth grinding for the iron axe. Or any better armor. But I do think it's a good idea to grind here. Yeah, this is the Super Nintendo version of Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Use a Pokeball, uh, but they don't exist! Actually, in Dragon Quest V, there is monster recruiting. So, while you won't get a po you can't use Pokeballs in Dragon Quest V, you can recruit monsters. You know, I should probably heal up. Well, yeah, act this is a an achievement run of the game. Uh... There's a site called Retro Achievements that I'm using to gather achievements. And we leveled up, by the way, but yeah, like, I so far have, like, four achievements. So, yeah. And out of the 1 plus 2, there's only four missable achievements in the game. So, I'll try to... I'll try to get all of them, but we'll see. But yeah, this is an achievement run just for something slightly different. Got 25 gold... Alright, how much do I have? We'll probably spend a little bit of time grinding here. And then once I probably go to the inn, after using up all my MP and stuff, I think we'll try going south. Ooh. Okay. Skeletons are really dangerous, I see. How much HP do I have? 31? Okay. I'm gonna have to... Stay closer to the town. <laughs> at least... At least if I die, I'm not worried about, like, Oh, you get a game over, off to your last save. No, you start back at the castle, but... You know, you only have 20 gold. So, there is that trade-off. You get half your gold for being revived. I think we could get a couple more fights in. But yeah, no, Act, if you ever decide to play a Dragon Quest game, I would say start with 11. It is a great starting point. I would say 12, but 12 doesn't exist yet. We're still waiting on 12. We don't really know what's going to How many are there now? Like I said, uh, Mainline, they announced Dragon Quest 12, like in 2021 but we still don't have 12 so not even japan it's still not even released yet so yeah 11 is the most recent main line as of right now but yeah no if you if if you only have to try one dragon quest game just try 11 it is good you should skip 12 and go for 13 <laughs> It's just like, oh yeah, 12? Eh, we don't care about 12. Here's Dragon Quest 13, by the way. Now you gotta realize, Act, that this game is so simple, you can play this game with one hand. At least the L button's an A button in this game. It's that simple. You gotta realize, Dragon Quest 1 was the first console JRPG. Games before that were on the computer, and we're talking Wizardry and Ultima, and those games apparently, like, you still need, like, a pen and paper to jot things down, apparently. I never played any of those games. So, this was just, like, the first RPG to really be like, hey, this is how you get, this is what RPGs are about, sort of thing. So, you only have a single party member. 
the hero. That's it. No other party members. And because you only have one party member, it, it makes things really simple. Not that complicated. How much gold do I have? See how worth it it was to grind for the copper sword? <laughs> I can almost get myself an iron axe. Huh. We will need it. Hmm. Not yet. I'm surprised I'm not actually getting hit. I'm just that fast. So it adds. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, wow, I got hit for a single point of damage. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go back and heal. How much, how much gold do I have? Okay. Let's go to the inn, heal up. And I think we'll try going... S no, I won't go south. I think I will save up for the Iron Axe. Because if I want attempt to go south and I die, I don't want to lose half my stuff. Yeah, 560. These enemies are not that bad right now. I think I will grind for those. I at least get myself the Iron Axe. I should get myself better armor, but... Right now, I think they might be a little bit... Might be a little too much money. Okay. I gotta be careful with skeletons. It's, right now, skeletons take three hits to kill. I think I already need to heal up. Imagine being a descendant of the hero and being broke as fuck. I mean, yeah, this, this game is like, oh, you are the hero's descendant. We're going to give you 120 gold. That's it. That's all you're getting from me, the king. As well as the torch. And the key to get out of this room. <laughs> Level 7. Let's see. HP and MP by 2. And we learned sleep. That's kind of what I was actually waiting for. Before moving forward. Because I know I'm going to need the sleep spell. Uh, how much do I have? Oh. Let's go buy the iron axe. And might as well heal up as well. Then we can head south. Yeah, no. Uh... That 120 gold is not enough to get you a copper sword. You could get a bamboo pole for that. And some... And like a shield, but honestly, I think you're just better off saving up for the sword. The poor builds character. Exactly! Uh, if I go to equip... See, we get a... What, plus five attack power? So worth it! So how tight is the Dragon Quest mainline games? Okay. I, I see what you mean. Yeah, in Final Fantasy, like, every game is, like, not connected whatsoever. This series, while I would not say every game is connected, but it actually, it, they do connect to each other. 1, 2, and 3 are considered the Erdrick Trilogy. Because they are connected. And then... Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6 are connected to each other. They are considered the Lufenian... Uh, wait, Lufenian? No, it's not Lufenian. Uh, but 4, 5, and 6 are connected. 7, I think it's on his own. 8 is kinda on its own with a slight connection to 3 very slightly 
like a character from three ends up in eight, but it's eight is a completely different world. Uh, I think nine is on his own too. First thing I do every game is grind for that bread. Being broke is worth. Yeah, honestly, this game is all about grinding for that bread and levels. That's what this game is. Uh, uh, I think 11 is actually connected to 3, actually. Now that I'm remembering. And 10's an MMO, so I don't know anything about 10. But no, a lot of Dragon Quest games are connected to each other. In some way. Enter the drug trade just to immediately get money. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I'm gonna just try to start heading south. Don't you just love how caves, like, just don't like to show you anything? Now, there is more to this cave, but if you want to get out to the other side, just stay to the left and go straight down. I might use a torch. How much damage do they do? Text went by so fast. Anyway. Just hang to the left and go straight down. I'm not going to bother using a torch right now. We will have to explore this cave. Later. Okay, now we hit the dead end. Move right, try to move south. There we go. Okay. Actually, you know what? It's only like eight gold. I'll use it. Just to show what I'm trying to do. Torches are basically necessary in this game. What happens if you don't have a torch and can't find your way out? Uh, you die. You eventually die, and then you start back at the castle. Again, there, this game has no game overs. Touch the walls and walk forward until the exit. Don't try that in real life, though. But yeah, you basically want to hang left. And then once you hit a wall, just kind of go right and left, down and left until you can't, you know. There is more of that cave to explore, but we'll do that later. Ow. That was like nine damage right there, yeah. They still only take, like, two hits. Thanks, Iron Axe. So we want to go south and around. Okay, here we go. We got wolves. Uh, or werewolves. I'm going to cast Sleep. I think I just took, like, 13 damage. Like, these guys are that strong. Still only take, like, two hits, though. You gotta consider their speed. Okay. This is the town of Wim Wimodar. Sweet, and we hear we've already heard about magic keys being here. Did you know that there's a small monolith to the northwest of the village of Marai? Yeah, I was there. I hear that a strange old man is living all alone there. Yeah, I met him. He said something about testing my strength and then not doing anything. Okay. We could save up for a steel sword. There's steel armor and magic armor. Um, as you can kind of see, steel armor and magic armor have the same defense. But I know there's a different property to it. Let me, uh, let me look it up. Let me look. It might not be worth going for. Let's see. Uh, okay. There is a... There is a reason why you would want to consider the magic armor. In the NES version, all spell damage is reduced by one-third. And in the remix, it's reduced by one-fourth. 
and it restores one HP for every four steps on the overworld. Although in the Game Boy Color version, it's one HP every two steps. So again, there's a reason we would want to do that. Uh, give me a second. I'm taking a glance at like the achievements that I need to do. I think that would be done later. Okay, whatever. We might save up for this, but I don't know. That's a lot of gold. I think we might be better off with the steel armor. We'll see. I don't know. What do you have to say? I'm a traveling merchant. This looks like a good place to show you my wares. What do you got? Well, we can use, we can buy a torch for now. Let's see. Nope, I meant to turn. Ah, who are you? Get out of here while, get out of here while I'm getting dressed. Uh, 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 okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, but I want to open your drawer. There was a Wing of Chimera. It was worth it. I'll leave you alone. From your appearance, you seem to be an admirer of the hero Roto. However, in reality, the personal history of Roto is clouded in mystery. I heard a story that he just arrived one day from another land. Interesting. This is a hundred years after, uh, after Roto's journey, apparently. There's a tax frackler. Who are you, sir? You don't look familiar. If you're a traveler, I, su I suggest you seek lodging at my mother's inn. Probably will do that. And probably spend time here grinding. I'm glad I finally made it. I left my life Cleo in the village of Marai and set out to come here. I was attacked by monsters, and they stole my money. So now I can't return to Mirai. Damn. And there was nothing in the drawers. What do you have to say? No, I didn't want to check the ground. I hear that, that in this town there's a shop that sells magic keys. Where could such a shop be? Hmm. What do you have to say? This is a place of prophecy. Don't tell me who you are, because I already know. You're a descendant of the hero Roto. Have you visited the holy monolith? Yes. Beside that monolith, sun and rain will join. Oh, okay. I know what she's talking about. Hold on. Let me say no. Have I visited the holy monolith? Go forth, and you will see the monolith to the south. Okay, I have not been there. There, are min there may be some weapons and armor in this world that are formidable enough to stand up against King Dragon. Indeed, I hear something about the legendary sword. Before long, this town will succumb to the demons. Oh, gods. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that too, Hawkhorn Dog. Now that I know that, now that I know King Dragon has come and attacked, I won't be able to settle down and start my own business. How dare the evil villain, like, rule the land. Now I'm not able to start open up my small shop. You should find the fighter's ring. That will be one of your big accomplishments. Will it, though? Will it, though? I mean, we're going to go get the fighter's ring. In the original NES version, it's not worth it. According to the ancient legend, Roto traveled to the, west to the western tip of this land and created a rainbow bridge. I also heard that he entered the darkness from a hidden passage in the Evil King's room. Traveler, if you met, if you meet with a descendant of Roto, please tell him what I just said. We're sure they could find uh, find it some use. Jokes on them! I am the descendant. There's, there seems to be a lot of dialogue. Is just like, oh, if you just happen to stumble upon the, the hero of legend or the descendant. Meanwhile, the entire time is just like, I am that hero. Again, I can't believe Rock is late again. Hm, what the hell is he doing? Hm. Like, who's she talking about right now? If 
if we go all the way down here to like the bottom corner uh, that's right i'm wrong what my girlfriend is waiting crap this place looks like the place where we uh where we were going to meet she's probably so pissed <laughs> it sounds like she is thanks for telling me to show you my thanks i'll tell you something good walk four paces south of the bath in Mir and marai and search around you should find a good item i need to think of an excuse for nana Four paces south of the bath in Marai. We'll be going back there soon. Would you like a magic key? It's only 16 gold. Yeah, we're going to want to stack up. Yes, I will buy another one. Would you like to buy another? Yes. I'm going to keep buying. Oh, did I hit no? Yeah, I accidentally hit no. Oh, 112 gold. <laughs> or 22. We found a defense seed too. Sweet. Go on. Use that up, get some, be more tanky. Ooh, increased by four. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can only, <sighs> wounds the Chimera don't stack. Okay, good to know. Now yeah, well, we're gonna stack up on these keys. Can't sell you anymore. You can only carry six keys at a time. Leave and come back in. I still have plenty of gold. Has Dragon Quest collab with Fortnite? Uh, I don't know. There's a part of me that wouldn't be surprised though. Open that door. Talk to you. When rain and sun meet, a rainbow bridge will be made. That is an ancient legend passed down here in Alfgard. Also, I hear a, I heard a story that the stones of sunlight sleep within Radatome Ca Radatome Castle. That is very important. Uh, Olive Guard is the like the entire continent, by the way. What? We found the nut of life. Chat, we found the nut of life. And what do we do when we eat the nut of life? HP increases by four. There is like a range each of these stat boosting seeds will give you. It hasn't? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna restock on keys. I think that's the most... I think that's all I can open the doors for, yeah. Okay. So, really opening that door, all it really did was just tell me, hey, there's one of, the, one of those items you're looking for? It's in it's in your the first castle. Like oh, oh dang it. it's such a this is such a small window. Okay. There we go. Uh, gotta hug the walls. We're gonna buy two more keys, and I think we'll just go back to the castle because there's a lot of treasure chests we can open there. Yeah, I'm going to restock here. And we also want to go back. We want to go back to Mirai anyway. We'll probably just loop back here. So. Okay, if we use the Wing of Chimera. We go back to the first castle. Might as well take the time to heal up. I don't know if I'm fully healed. All right, there we go. Now let's do a little bit more exploring of the castle. When the Dragon of Darkness, uh, yeah, yeah, give me back my MP. Who needs inns when you could just talk to that guy to refill your MP? All right. A lot of treasure here. If you are a true heal hero, you won't steal anything. I guess I'm not a true hero then. 348 gold. Sweet. We found a magic key. 
Sweet! I didn't waste that door. <laughs> that door key. A magic nut. Alright. I think I gotta use that up. And we get... 5 MP. We found an agility seed. Worth it. So worth it. And my speed increased by 3. I guess I'm not a true hero then. You hear that chat? I'm not a true hero. Alright, let's open this door. If we talk to you... Would you like a magic key that will open any door for 24 gold? Then there was a magic key shop in this t in the castle this entire time. It is more money though. I'm looking for an underground chamber. I hear there is one somewhere in this castle. You have traveled on such a difficult journey at such a young age. The least I could do is pray for your safety. Let us pray for the hero. May the light be with you. My strength has completely recovered. Oh, did I get a full heal there? Okay. There's much danger. If you advance past this point, your strength will be drained considerably. But if you have enough courage, come on through. So I have 44 HP. 37. 30. 23. 16. That drains your health. It is, a, it is great that you have made it here. If you're a hero, then you can defeat the monsters that you encounter inside the grave of Garai. Go to the town of Garai and push against the wall, a, a wall of darkness. By doing that, a path may open to the grave. That's actually important to learn. I need to fully heal myself, though. Okay, that's close enough. 28, 21, 14. Alright. So we do need to go into the Grave of Garai. There is a hidden uh, basement somewhere. When Rain and Sun join, a rainbow bridge will be pr produced. Or so the agent legend says. If we go down here... Go and hug the wall. Oh, Scapa! I was told that someday a young descendant of Roto would visit. Long ago, my ancestors were entrusted with this treasure chest. It contains the Stones of Sunlight. The text kind of wrapped around there. From the legendary hero, Roto. This item is necessary if you want to defeat the Keen Dragon. Now then, open the treasure chest. You found the Stones of Sunlight. Pray for the time that you once again return the light to this land. Now I've kept and protected the Stone of Sunlight for a long time. I'm now feeling a little tired. I'm going to lay down and rest. So for that, we got an achievement. Uh, refresh the page. Obtains the Stones of Sunlight. There we go. What we got? What we got? Take care of the stones, su stones of sunlight for me. I can clearly remember the words of the legendary her hero, w w Roto. Are you that old? You definitely resemble the great warrior. Return peace to this land once again. I beseech you, Scott I mean, it is only a hundred years. There is a chance he could have lived. We found a medicinal herb. And we found a nut of life. Time to eat the nut of life. Maximum HP increased by five. All right. We're kind of done with this castle. Let's see. I'm going to get a full heal going. Sadly, though, this is just kind of stuck in my inventory. It kind of is. Uh, it's not really doing anything, and there's no, like, storage bag or something. They didn't add bags until, I think, three? 
Maybe? And even then in remakes, I think. Let's get my MP back. And you know, we put in a lot of work within this hour and a half. I better save. I better make a save. How much gold do I have, by the way? Okay, 600. So yeah, to save, you talk to the king. You have returned. I'm delighted. To reach the next level, you will need 216 experience. And we'll just be right there. Would you like to continue on your journey? Yes. Okay. Off! Be off! Alright. We do need to go to the grave of Garai. We could do that now, but I think I'd rather head to... I think I rather I think I rather just head back around. Because we were told of a hidden item south of the bath. Like four steps south. These enemies are so weak now. See what I mean? I've only put in like an hour and a half so far. And, like, it feels like I've done a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Other than, like, the first, like, what, 20 minutes to gain, like, three levels and the Copper Sword? I've already, like, put in, like... I, I've already checked, like, the western half of the world, more or less. Or eastern world. Not western. My bad. Although, we will go to the shrine... Counter rate's really high right now. And again, the Super Nintendo made it to where you get like more EXP and gold from kills, so it does make it go faster. The slimes with no fear. Just they wait for when light strikes the copper sword, and it becomes the Dragon Slayer sword. All media tells you lightning does extra damage to dragons. I mean, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance tells you that, too. I don't think this game gives you the zap, the zap spell, though. So, I don't think that applies here. Actually, when was zap introduced? Okay, so we're at the path. I think it's four square south. One, two, three, four. Check the ground. We found the fairy flute. It was right here the entire time. So, and here's the thing. You didn't need to... By the way, th there was an achievement for that. Uh, you didn't need to find, uh, talk to the guy in the Remendal to know that it's there. If you know th that the fairy flute was there the entire time, you could just grab it. Granted, it's only useful for uh, the golem. Hey, uh, Diabetes the second. How's it going? What's going on? We just got the fairy flute. Oh, and the... I forgot to shut that off. There we go. This way up on the mountain. When it rains, raise the sword and upgrade to the copper sword. Upgrade the copper sword. Yeah, that's all, it, that's all you need to do. Uh, sadly, these are just kind of taking up spaces. So here's the thing. The fairy flute puts a golem to sleep. That's what they said. And there's going to be a golem that guards one of the towns. However, let me pull this back up. If I show only missables, defeat the golem without using the fairy flute. So yeah, uh, the golem fight is going to be harder. <laughs> We're going to have a harder time with the golem. Now, if I can only just get rid of it. But nothing happened. Anyway. Yeah, I know. The music is great. Love the music. It's very relaxing. Okay. I could use the key to talk to that guy. We're going to go do that. But yeah, Diabetes the second. Uh, what's your experience with Dragon Quest? 
I've basically played all of them, but obviously not 10, and I still need to finish a playthrough of 6, but I played the rest of them. Ho oh, ho ho, youngster! So you found the shop that sells magic keys! Then you were in Rimmeldar, and must have heard about the fairy flute from my son. Have you obtained the flute? Yes, I did. Then you should try performing it at the town of Mekido. Melkido. And I think that's where the golem's at. And that's all he's worth. That's all he tells you. Alright. Again, the achievement is don't beat the golem with, you know, beat the golem without using the flute. So we're going to do that. Wait, went through Thor and NES pretty much. A little bit of the Game Boy Color. Mostly randos these days. Ah, interesting. I haven't tried a randomizer, though. That would have been... I thought about doing a randomizer, but, uh... I am going with an achievement hunting sort of thing with retro achievements while playing this. So, I figured I'd go that route instead. Uh... I have never played the NES versions of 1 through 4. I do own... The 1-2 compilation and 3 on Game Boy Color... Game Boy, Game Boy Color, as well as the Switch. Uh, four, five, and six I have on the phone. Seven, I have the 3DS version. Eight, I have the PS2 and the 3DS version. And I also have nine, and then I have 11 on PS4. Although, the version of 11 that I have is not the def the definitive edition, sadly. Oh no, mid-rolls. Uh, don't they suck? Alright. We'll explore this cave more later, but right now I just want to get to the other side. Gonna have to stock up on keys. See, just after a few levels and a few extra seeds, like, these scorpions are now just one-hit KOs and I'm faster. Down and around. Okay. Go here and to the left. Anyway, play is good. Play pretty much. Although, if I, if someone were to say, "Hey, I want to play Dragon Quest One," which version I should play? I would probably not say to play the original NES version, but, you know, it depends on the type of player. Okay, they only dealt like five damage. Let's try the fireball. Nine, okay, that's better. Although one thing I don't like about like every other version, I think this, I think this Super Nintendo version just uh, did a little bit of uh, tinkering with some of the things so when you get to the town of Mirai there's a sparkle on where the fairy flute is so you know there's something there to pick up I personally do not like that so I like how the original NES version as well as I guess this like modded version I guess I guess it's modded or something I don't know like got rid of the sparkle so that way a first time player won't automatically know it's there and has to find out the normal way. You know, back on the NES. The Switch version, you know, even has the sparkle, you know. I don't like that it's there. It kind of messes with uh, the order of how you're supposed to do things. Granted, again, it's not like you need to talk to the guy that's here to know that the fairy flute is there. If you know ahead of time, you can pick it up. I just don't like it being, like, just showing you that it's there before you're even supposed to know it's there, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's stock back up on magic keys. Alright. I could grind for a new upgrade. Hold on. What can I buy? I think I could get steel armor for a th No, it's iron armor for a thousand. How's the game going so far? The game's going alright, uh, Taylor. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, steel swords are 15k. But I can get an iron armor soon. We're gonna grind for that. So, this is an achievement run through retro achievements. We got a few so far. Uh, this is just like opening the first treasure chest, basically. We let the slime, let a slime run away. Read the monument in, in uh, the Urtrix grave. We get the puff puff. We attained the flare obtained the fairy flute and we got the stones of sunlight as so far what we've done so far on the achievement side of things well, how's it going Tyler have you ever played Dragon Quest been mean to add play Dragon Quest <laughs> well now's your chance to play Dragon Quest do it Probably play any version other than the original NES, unless you want to spend more time grinding. As someone who has not played the original NES version. <laughs> I, again, I'm not even two hours in. And I've already, already, like, almost fully explored the eastern half. Okay, wait a minute. Can this guy fall? Wait, can you put this guy to sleep? Yes, he fell asleep. Sleep is your best friend. Especially in this section of the game. I played the original FF1, so know how those old RPGs are like. Uh, Dragon Quest is even older. Like, for example, uh, Dragon Quest, uh, you know, we're playing Dragon Quest 1. Uh, this one character is all you get. The plan is to upgrade the Copper Sword and then challenge the Elden Dragon and finally beat the game. Nothing to stop him except except any slimes on the way. Exactly! You know, the secret ultra super duper weapon is to just take your basic Copper Sword and then get struck by lightning to get the Lightning Sword. Yeah, uh, Dragon Quest 3 came out like two months, two or three months after Final Fantasy 1 in Japan. We were really late to the game when it comes to Dragon Quest. Uh, by the time we got Dragon Quest 1 in America, Dra Final Fantasy 1 was already out. And Final Fantasy 1 was like, what, two or three years after? Uh, uh, Final Fantasy 1 was like two or three years after the original Dragon Quest. So it was already kind of dated by the time we got it. But hey, you know, you get a free copy for signing up to Nintendo Power. I mean, that whole deal with the Nintendo Power thing was such a steal. Like, you'd be a fool not to do that back in the day. Oh, I have to sell something. I, I have too much stuff. Um... Can I sell the fairy flute? No, uh, since I'm gonna buy new armor. Actually, no, the dragon scale kind of sucks. It's only a plus two defense. I'm gonna sell the dragon scale and the armor, the plain clothes. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, we'll buy the iron armor just for something better. We're getting more into JRPGs recently, and Dragon Quest is pretty much the OG it, so I feel like I should play it at least once. You definitely should give it a shot. Uh, again, Dragon Quest 1 was, like, is considered, like, the grandfather of JRPGs. It was, I don't know if it was the first console JRPG, but it was basically the first one to be popular, I should say. Got kids involved. Uh, stats. Okay, we got an Iron Axe, Iron Armor, Leather Shield. No accessory, because plus two defense is not worth it. What might even say? Thou art a fool, exactly. You, Thou art a fool if you don't take advantage of the free Dragon Warrior with the, per with the subscription to Nintendo Power. The slimes are funny. The, the slimes are so iconic, design-wise. Toriyama really did a good job on the enemy designs. It really made uh, this game really unique. 
you know, back in the 80s. Oh, wait, no. We're gonna go with fireballs, because that deals more damage. These metal enemies have, or iron enemies, have a lot of defense. Actually, I think I could do that. Two fireballs and a physical attack, okay. Okay, we're gonna go south to the monolith. Oh no, an un another undead! Go to sleep. Now I'm just thinking of uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man with uh, Green Goblin. Sleep. Like, <laughs> so weird. But yeah, uh, Goldman's! Okay, can we put you to sleep? I don't think it worked. <laughs> the text went by so fast, it, it said it didn't work on the gold man. He did defend. 16. Oh, no, we're gonna heal. And I'm dead. Good thing I already bought my armor. Oh, Scott Pye. It seems you've died in battle. I think that's a typo. I am not a harsh person, so I'll give you another chance. If you are wounded in battle, make sure you make it back in town and see lodging at an inn. I pray that this does not happen again. 281 experience, and we shall save. We, will, we shall continue on the journey. Uh, okay. So how much money do I have? Yeah, 157 gold. It's not that bad. Currently playing another RPG, so I'll probably hold off a job quest for a bit. I could get that trying to juggle multiple games. Like, you don't want to get too distracted, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, Dragon Quest 1, if you know what you're doing, can be beaten within a few hours. Like, if you decide to like take an afternoon to play Dragon Quest 1, you could probably beat it within that same afternoon. You as the other RPG. Yeah, what is the uh, other RPG that you're playing? Uh, okay. Where do I want to go? I was going to explore the monolith, but I don't think I will anymore. Playing through Dot Hack. Oh, I have never played a Dot Hack game. Are they any good? And isn't that also an anime series? If so, what came first? You know what? Maybe we'll go to the Grave of Garai. I think we'll do that. Also, it kind of sucks that we died to the Gold Man, because if I killed him, I think he would have given us a lot of gold. The anime is actually a step up for the original game series. So it was game first and then anime. Is that the game where you use programs to fight? Yeah, I know nothing of Dot Hack. So I I, I actually know nothing I know nothing about it. What console was the first the original game for? Like was did it start off as like a PS2 set uh like series or something, or was it even older than that? In other words, the anime came first. Okay. Oh, setup. I, I misread that. Okay, it's a setup for the original game series. I see. Is it your desire to venture into the grave of Garai? The sound of the silver harp can call monsters and send them rushing to you. Stop your journey now and leave this place. It was a PS2 series. Okay. Long time ago, I traveled to the town of... town called Domdora. I, I spent the most wonderful time at the end, run by a delightful old man. I wonder how he is doing. Where's the entrance to the grave of Garai, you ask? I regret that I can't tell you that. Try searching for yourself. We found a torch. We will need that. We found... It's funny that we found a copper sword. I can't hold anything else. Uh... No? Okay, no, it's in there. Good. I didn't, like, just toss it. I can get rid of a torch. Okay. 
What do you got to say, my dude? Ah, uh, it's a thief! The world will be completely destroyed anyway, so I don't think you could profit from my money. Found a copper sword. That's the thing. It's not a free copper sword. I mean, it is, but you have to go all the way to, you know, to the one town to get magic key, so you probably want a copper sword anyway. Not really something to hold off for. At least it's 90 gold. Is that it takes place in a fictional MMO, kind of like SAO. Person, also basically nothing else in common. Hmm. Is it like an isekai of some sort? Oh, you opened that door with the key. Well, it's about time. Here you go. Take this key. This key, the key is quite important. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just give me a key to replenish the door I just opened? So that was kind of like just a pointless door. Now I just need this guy out of the way. I want to, I want to raid that treasure chest. So who wins the dot hack or the dot slash? Uh, 630 gold. Ah, that's nice. First enemy is what the others are. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's kind of nice that it's not all an isekai. Because, I don't know, like, nowadays everything's an isekai and it's kind of annoying. 897. Hmm. I can't buy anything yet. So one guy said that we need to hug the walls. Kind of hate... There we go. Okay. Return from the grave of Garai with your life if you can. If you wish to die, then by all means, step forth. Sorry, I don't even like the isekai. You don't like the isekai and you like the anime? Hmm. I mean... Isekai is not a genre I specifically try to watch. There are a few shows that are that I do like that are isekai. Like Konosuba. There's there's a few isekai that I do like watching, but it's I just feel like isekai is overplayed right now. It's kind of exhausting. I only took one damage. Sweet, this is gonna, this isn't gonna be that bad. Man, I only have so much item space right now. Oh, that ain't bad. I know there's an achievement for going through the dungeon, but I forget how many. Let's see. I was kind of hoping to get a new magic spell before going through here, but honestly, I need to use my torches up anyway. I like the part that after the first two episodes, they gain enough power to win every fight. And the cool concept that had the beginning gets twisted back to the average isekai again. Forget the harem. Yeah, that's, that's just every isekai, isn't it? More or less. Again, the reason why there's isekais everywhere is because SAO got super popular and every anime studio saw how popular it was and thought, hey, we need to get a slice of that pie. So all that people care about is that normal humans go to another world, right? That's that's the only reason they like SAO. So let's just churn out like 10 isekais per season. One of them's going to stick, right? That's what it feels like, anyway. I got transferred into the book I know everything about. Oh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, that's not as interesting. Uh, let's see. 533 gold. And another magic key. Sweet. The good thing about Dot Hack is that they don't fall into typical isekai tropes. Yeah, because those tropes haven't really happened yet. Those tropes really started with SAO, didn't it? Now, e there were isekais before SAO, but SAO was really popular. And that's 
that's where the problem was. Because, like, think about it like this. I think people are fine with, like, isekai-like story arcs. It's just, like, I don't know when the whole series is an isekai. I think people are getting tired of it. Like, look at Hunter x Hunter. Greed Island could probably be considered an isekai arc. And yet, I, mean, I think it's a really good arc. Inu yeah, Inuasha would be considered an isekai. I was going to bring that up, too. Uh, I have not seen Inuasha, but the, doesn't the girl, like, fall into a well and enter another world and she could go, just go back and forth between these two places? Inuasha would be considered an isekai. That show was popular back in the day, but I don't think it's uh, that popular now. Or I should say, it didn't hit the popularity that SAO did. I have never seen Inuasha, so I couldn't tell you. Is it worth casting sleep? I mean, it does take two hits to kill. But I don't remember how much damage he does. Oh, I did buy better armor. So it might not be worth it. I don't think we want to take those stairs. Could be wrong. Uh, we have to find the right pair of stairs, I see. Okay, how much damage are you going to deal to me? I didn't... 10 damage, okay. But I am faster, and you take two hits to kill. I don't think it's worth casting sleep on him. It's still a show not everyone will enjoy. It's very slow paced, and there's next to no action. Hmm. Then what's the what's the appeal of Dot Hack? And I'm assuming you're specifically talking about the anime. Because that was first. So if you wanted to get into like the Dot Hack games, do you have to watch that first anime? There we go, we learned, we learned Radiant. So, now I don't need torches. Torches are now something that I don't need. I took 8 damage, I dealt 9? How much damage does Fireball do? 8 damage? Okay, there's no reason to cast Fireball now. I'm now strong enough. You don't? It will heighten the experience, though? Okay. That sounds like a good compromise, honestly. You don't need to watch the anime to play the game, but you get more out of it if you do. That sounds like a good compromise. But yeah, can you explain how? Or give a example? Okay, we gotta find the right staircase. It might be the bottom left one. Yeah, I'm faster than the wolf. He's gonna deal like 10 damage to me, give or take, but it's worth doing that than casting sleep now. Yeah, this game is like the epitome of like, you buy one good armor and get one level and now you're unstoppable for the enemies that are around you. Unless you go to like a higher level area. Okay, let's check down here. This might be the right way, we'll see. Dead end. There are characters that appear in the anime and game, but you don't need to watch the anime to get their role in the story. It will give them more insight to the character though. So, are you saying that the anime will delve deeper on, like, the characters' backstories? Maybe not backstories, because, honestly, the game should provide stuff like that. More like character development? No. I don't know. Hmm. That's the best way to describe it. Um... Like, you see more... More of their day-to-day -day lives? So you get a little bit more 
character interaction? Maybe that's the word. Okay, uh, okay. Now we're fighting tougher enemies. Let's cast sleep. And he woke up, so it was pointless. But kind of like Pokemon Gen 1, when they wake up from sleep, that was their turn. So it still has a use. Yeah, I think I'm kind of understanding what you're kind of getting at. Wolf Mammal. Hmm. Again, these are kind of more the Japanese names. The text is going by super fast. I can't read it in time. Let's see. Right, I, I, I kind of, I kind of get what you mean. But am I kind of on the right track? I woke up. Dang it. Takes three hits to kill. I'm almost out of MP. Sadly, there's no evac spell. I don't think this game has evac. Okay. I think I made the wrong turn. Oh. It's not Better Call Saul, where you don't need to watch it but to get Breaking Bad, but it makes it so much better. Well, that's a question about Better Call Saul and uh, Breaking Bad. Is it better to... Which one is it better to watch first? Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul as a first watch? If I... I have not seen either of them. But I feel like I would rather go release order. And I'm dead. That was 20... 20 damage. Is Better Call Saul a prequel? Okay, this doesn't happen again. 275 experience. We shall save, because why not? To continue the journey? Yes. It is a prequel. I have a theory about prequels, and I have yet to see an example of that kind of counters my argument. I think prequels are not meant to be watched first on a first playthrough because of how they're written, depending on the game. Like, if it's like a thousand-year prequel, then it really doesn't matter, more or less, depending on the game. Like, I'm thinking like Tales series. But, like, prequels are meant to explain how... Yeah. Prequels are meant to explain how things got how they were, and they're written in ways... Where it's like, whenever something happens, be like, ah, you get it? You see that reference? That's how it leads to this. And not treat it as its own thing. Star Wars is a great example of what I mean. 13, wait. Couldn't I buy a uh, sword now at 15K? Yeah, I think I can buy a better sword. I think I'm going to go do that. Because I still have the Iron Axe, right? Yeah. Because I think I could get a Steel Sword for 15k. Like, take Star Wars as an example. Episode 5's twist with Darth Vader being Luke's father. That was a big... That was a shock at the time. If you watch the prequels first, you see Anakin become Darth Vader. And you see him, you know... You already know that he's the father of Luke and Leia. So if you were to watch the prequels first, and then get to episode 5, the reveal of, of Darth Vader being Luke's father is, like, not a surprise. Be like, yeah, I know that. Why are you treating it like it's a surprise? But it actually means more if you watch the original trilogy first, and then watch the prequels. Like, release order how it's intended to be. Once you narrow it down to either the first series or the games, it becomes a lot easier to get into. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna test out uh, Radiant. See? Not only do I not need a torch, it reveals way more than the torch does. Torches are now useless. There is no reason to use a torch. Again, we'll explore more of this later. But they did say the princess was in an eastern cave. That is this cave. This is the this is the farthest east you can go, and it looks like you needed a magic key anyway. So you couldn't fully explore this anyway. Let's see if we could buy a better weapon. Got close with the bottom floor of the graveyard, but that does give me the harp. But do I need the harp right this second? The problem is I only have so much space. And right now the Stones of Sunlight and the Fairy Flute are kind of taking up space. Especially the fairy flute. How many dot hack games are there, by the way? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the series is still going. Oh yeah, I'm close to a steel sword. We'll grind for that. I do like if you look at the Dragon Ball manga, you could tell when he did Dragon Quest because uh, when he drew the monsters for Dragon Quest, because at the second tournament in Dragon Ball, in the background, you could see uh, a bunch of like Dragon Quest enemies. <laughs> because I think he drew the, the enemies in the characters for Dragon Quest during uh, Red Ribbon Army. So by the time we get to the second tournament with TN, uh, Dragon Quest was already released, so he's just like, hey, I'm, I'm just gonna put some of these enemies in the background, because I can do that. Let's see, where are we at? There we go. I have the gold. But this Iron Scorpion is one, wanting to stop me. to buy the steel sword it is it is definitely an increase I'm gonna sell the other the iron axe 280 gold All right uh, you're enjoying them so far well that's good uh, next we could go back to the cave of grave of Garai. actually you know what i know what i'm gonna do I, actually no i'm gonna double back to the monolith to the south i was about to go somewhere else but then i remembered oh right i died to the golem <laughs> or, or i should say a gold man Played the first four games, but I haven't. But they haven't made a collection for them. And the fourth one is very expensive. Oh, really? Uh, I'm actually curious. How much is like dot hack going? Like, if I wanted to like jump into them. Uh, I think it's. I think that's how it is. 
Level 10, let's see. We got a bunch of step boosts. And stop spell. Now we can stop mages from casting spells. Let's see. Uh, this ain't right. This is not right. Can I can I sort it by name? No. Wait, no, popularity. Okay, alphabetical. Because it would be right at the top, more or less. Oh, maybe maybe not one. Sorry. Uh let's go to the monolith. I'm just kind of curious on what th these games are going for now. I'm almost there. Digimon, no, not yet. Again, you could kind of play this game with one hand right now. Go too far? Hmm. Oh, maybe it's at the very bottom. Now, <sighs> dang it. Well, let's heal up. Twelve damage. Okay. Let's heal up again. Oh, I got a crit. Okay, I, I don't think I'm typing it right. Oh, wolf mammal. Okay, we're getting some stronger stuff. Some of the stuff on the bottom floor. And of course he woke up. Takes two hits anyway. Okay, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. You said quarantine was the... Okay, quarantine. PS2, oh, a complete box is $250. I see what you mean. That's not annoying at all. Yeah, that game definitely needs another uh, another version to come out. Split into two crowd shots. Oh no. So there's like two different worlds or timelines or something to keep track of. Uh, what's the name of like the first game or the first two? Is it just dot hack or is there something else to the title? If you are truly the hero and the descendant of Roto, then you should have proof. Foolish individual, leave now. I don't have proof. I don't have proof. Anyway. Still don't have proof that I am the legend. I am the descendant of the legendary hero. Win of Chimera. All right, might as well take the opportunity to heal up here. Infection, mutation, outbreak, and quarantine. Okay. Infection. Let's start with that. PS2, uh, 20 bucks. That's not bad. I go back 
here. Yeah, 20 bucks for the first one, that ain't bad. Mutation. What are we looking at? PS2, 40 bucks? 45 bucks. Kind of annoying, but still doable. Oops. An outbreak is the last one. They have a collection for the second set. Okay. Outbreak PS2, 50, uh, basically 60 bucks. Huh. Okay. The first one being 20 bucks is definitely doable. Especially if you don't even know you're going to like the series at all. Uh... But yeah, definitely the other two, while they're basically as much as a brand new game, if not, or just slightly lower. That fourth one, though, yeah, that one ain't happening. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, I think I might ignore the cave. I think I might ignore that cave at the moment. I think we're going to go south. Or the grave. Uh... There's a recap for the first four games in the collection. It's like it's like they knew ahead of time that the fourth game was going to be super expensive. It's kind of like Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. That game is still spendy. I think that's I think it's like 250. Actually, it was like 300 last I checked, but maybe it went down. Now there's that cave to the right, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that for just a little bit. I wanna explore more. I think I wanna start going south. Alright, past the bridge. If this undead will let me. More undeads? Well, I can deal with them. But yeah, you, know, you should definitely give Dragon Quest games a shot. Uh, apparently, you don't need to know the story. To get, it's not like I was going to play that with that price tag. Well, definitely that fourth one I wasn't going to play then. Without, you know, sailing the high seas, if you know what I mean. But honestly, the first, the first three games are kind of doable in terms of pricing, especially with that first one. So it's not that bad. And we run, we have run into a destroyed town. We could search around here, but I know there's nothing here that we can do at the moment. We'll come back. Uh, I don't know if you're the type of person that would that likes to go in order of release to to kind of see how things evolve over. Oh, there's an armor knight. Can I cast a sleep spell on you? He did fall asleep, but I took 27 damage. <laughs> 13. He's still asleep. He woke up. I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. I need some sort of conversation. You know what I mean? Again, most of this game is level grinding. Oh, that was scary. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Yeah, some, I, I, I don't usually mind if a conversation goes somewhere else, because it's because without it, I honestly don't have much to say. And that's for most games, so it's not just a Dragon Quest thing. But yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I mentioned this earlier, but yesterday at my theater, they were uh, playing The Dark Knight, and I went to go see it. It is still a fantastic movie. Definitely worth seeing in the theater again. Totally worth it. 
Maybe we'll go into that second cave. Not, uh... Not the... Not the grave in Garai. Although, we're gonna have to go back there. But yeah, are you, uh, Tyler, are you the type of person that if you are gonna get into a series, you wanna go in order? Or are you like, no, you only got one shot to get, convince me what's the best game in the series. I wanna try that sort of thing. Because me, me personally, I am someone where if I know I'm gonna try a series out, I'm usually wanna play like from the beginning. It depends, okay. Series by series basis. Well, if you wa wanna get into Dragon Quest and you're not gonna start from the beginning, you could just start with 11. It is a great game. If you never played a Dragon Quest game before, you can just start with 11 just to, and use that whether or not you want to get into Dragon Quest. Unless you're just like, yeah, I'm going to play the entire series from the start, then, you know, do that. So, this place right here that I'm in is completely optional. And... I'm just here for level grinding and achievement, honestly. Honestly, if you're playing through this game, you don't need to come in here at all. There's no no good reason. Especially if you're playing the NES version. Probably won't play all of them. Still want to give one a try. Uh, Again, as you're kind of looking at... About two and a half hours in, and I already got a lot done. You could get a lot done if you play Dragon Quest 1. It's a pretty short game when you know what you're doing. And in some ways, yeah, it, it, it is a lot of level grinding, but it's also kind of relaxing too. Yeah, no, if you're going to try out Dragon Quest 1, either go with like the Switch version or play the Super Nintendo version. Super Nin uh, Switch version has, you know, it's easy access to get to if you have a Switch. Very cheap. Can occasionally go on sale. And it has the orchestrated soundtrack. But the Super Nintendo has better visuals. I don't like the look of the Switch version. It is a port of the mobile version, and that's all I need to say. Again, the Switch version is just a port of the mobile version. But if that's what you got, that's what you got, you know. Is it sad that I prefer the look of the Super Nintendo version than the look of the Switch version? <laughs> Although, Dragon Quest 3 on the Switch, even though it is a mobile port, it still looks good, so I'm fine with that. I still have all three on Switch because, you know, because why not? It's Dragon Quest. Because what am I going to play? The NES versions? <laughs> no. I did see a treasure chest. I need to go back for that chest. I think there's an achievement for this cave but for finding every chest, so I better go grab it. And again, the SNES version never actually released in America, so you're going to have to get yourself English translations. And what uh, they give you the option for English translations to play more accurate to the Japanese version or the more Americanized translation in terms of like castles and names and stuff. Because in J it, uh, the hero of legend in the American version it is Erdrick in the Japanese version the hero can either be called Loto or Roto because you know the R and L thing so and ca uh, towns and s castles have different names that sort of thing that's really the only thing you're choosing depending on which translation you're going with 
or the Dragon Lord instead of the Dragon King. That sort of thing. And as you can see, I have it on the fastest tech speed. And it's it's actually kind of too fast. It is definitely a nice option. Honestly, the tech speed is a little too fast to read. But, you know. You know, it's making this go faster, that's for sure. we got over here. Progress. Let's see. Uh, okay. But yeah, 1, 2, and 3, I would suggest either the Switch versions or the Super Nintendo versions. If you're going to play 4, 5, and 6, uh... So 4 was released on the NES. They also had a DS remake and a mobile version. The best version of 4 is the mobile version. And honestly, the mobile version is just a port of the DS version, just without the second screen. So it's, it's perfectly fine. Doesn't have like redrawn sprites or anything. We got Strength Seed, and we get... A magic nut. Let's use this up. I need to become stronger. Okay, so it is actually kind of worth coming in here in the Super Nintendo. Like, anything other than the NES version, but just for these. Uh, these strength seeds and all of these stat boosting stuff was not in the original Dragon Quest on the NES. That was added in for every version other than the NES one. Because I think they introduced that sort of one in three? Alright. We found the Warrior's Ring. And that's technically the reason to come in here. It is a accessory. Now, I'm going to look up the specifics because it's not really telling you. Let's see. Okay. Uh, trying to read it. Uh, it possibly increases the hero's attack agility and or prevents weaker monsters from attacking as often, but we don't really know. It has been confirmed that code breaking the fighter's ring is blood bugged in the NES version. And it does absolutely nothing. Wait. And probably does absolutely nothing in Super Famicom and Game Boy Color remakes as well. Oh yeah, the remake of Dragon Quest XI adds in like the 2D overall like Super Nintendo style look. Honestly, it's pretty cool. I have not played that version in particular. I th Wait, so it does absolutely nothing? And I thought there was an achievement on... Oh, get all the items inside the mountain cave. I'm not done yet. I thought it was just the warrior's ring. Fire's ring can be equipped. Can be found in the bottom of the mountain cave due to text limitations. Fire's ring was renamed to war with the picture of a ring. Misprogrammed in early versions of the game and it will do nothing to the hero's stats and provide no benefit at all. I think they fixed it in the Switch version, though. Okay, hold on. I'm looking around. It doesn't actually do anything except trigger an, in an inconsequential dialogue change that one NPC gives you. There was a bank for items to go. Oh, I need to go to the first town and do that. It used to be useless in the NES version, but I believe the remakes changed it to raise the attack a bit. I don't space soon should be too much of an issue. Blah, blah, blah. I'm reading like it does nothing. Hold on, let me look at my stats very quick. My strength is 44, 
My attack is 64. So if I unequip it, let's see if it makes a change. It doesn't seem to do anything. It was supposed to do something, but it doesn't look like it does anything. All right, have a good day, Tyler. Have a good day. Just going to be gathering more achievements and playing through Dragon Quest 1. Oh yeah, it kind of sucks that the ring does nothing. <laughs> I think they fixed it in the Switch version, though. Oh, we got an Iron Shield. Oh, totally worth it. Oh yeah, nothing happens. Totally worth coming in here for that. Iron armor. We want the iron shield for more defense. No, it seems to not do anything. <laughs> okay, it's worth coming in here just to get the shield. And some strength seeds and stuff like that. If the shield is in the original NAS version, then I think that's the reason you want to come in here. Because I'm not 100% sure of everything that was changed. Oh! Radiant ended. That is the trade-off with using Radiant. It will eventually end. Whereas I think the torch doesn't until, you know, you leave the cave. And it goes, you know, goes away completely. But... Radiant is still worth it. It doesn't cost that much. And it just reveals a lot more. It lasts a long time, too. It's just not worth using torches. Okay, supposedly, there's more treasure chests that I missed. And I think I'm just going in circles right now. Let's see. I had to open the door to get to that, so I think there's a little bit more here somewhere. See, this cave is only two floors. But again, completely optional. You don't have to come here. I got a crit. Anything up here? No, that's downstairs. That's downstairs. Yeah, I want to go through there. All right, all right. Let's see. What is it, Molly? You want attention? Are you needy? My dog's a very needy dog. Oh, I gained a level. Right, Molly? I gained a level. Strength, speed, vitality, HP, MP. We found 30 gold. No spells. Okay. Molly, what? What is it? What is it? No. Okay, hold on. My dog wants attention. Come here. Come here. Come here. Up. Oh. Come on. Come on. Up. Come here. Come here. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. My dog, you're so needy. You're such a needy dog. You just want all the attention. But I'm trying to explore a cave. I need to find all the treasure. Gotta find all the treasure. At least I can play this game one-handed. <laughs> yeah, I could give my dog attention and play the game at the same time. Oh, they both lead to the same floor, don't they? 
Oh, okay. So you didn't need a key anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, kind of pointless, isn't it? Nothing there. Ah, uh, there we go. We found gold. Not every treasure chest so far. Still more somewhere. Oh, okay. There we go. We found a torch. Yay. As you can see, we got every treasure. We got all the treasures. We got all the treasures. Yes. Got them all. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah, uh, no, my stuff's all tangled up. Where's your bone? Or did you eat it all? Can't turn that off. There we go. Where's your bone? Oh, you found a toy, I see. Okay, we can get out of here. Too bad there's no evac. So now, gotta take the time to get out of here. Ah, a Metro Ghost. Yeah, the enemies have different names other than, like, the Slime and Drakies. Like, most of the enemies have name changes. But yeah, the version I have of Dragon Quest XI is the one, is the original one I don't have. What the? How'd that get changed? Yeah, I don't have the Definitive Edition. What's funny is I was playing uh, Dragon Quest XI, the base version, and while I was like playing through the game for my first playthrough, yeah, I, my dog's just playing with the toy, that's just what it is. Uh, when I was playing through the game, that's when they decided to announce the Definitive Edition. It was kind of annoying. What did you miss? Not much. Not much hot corn dog. We got we got all the chests in this cave, so we got an achievement for that. And now I just need to exit the cave. That's what you missed. I don't know if you saw me collect the the warrior's ring that actually does absolutely nothing. I think it's supposed to increase your strength, but it was bugged in like every version other than maybe the switch version so like i said like that's like a reason to not come in here <laughs> did i go the wrong way honestly this place is just a glorified exp fall uh like a place to level grind while you search for treasure. And... Where's the way out? Where is it? This is where an evac spell would be very nice. But I don't think they thought about that in this game. Where is it? Great, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, radiant ended. Alright. Is that it right there? Yeah, I think that's it. This place is only two floors. Alright, made it out of there. Don't need to go back in there ever again. Let's go back to the f main town. And I don't have any Chimera wings.
Yeah, I don't have any Chimera Reeds. Oh, by the way, uh, when you if you ever play Dragon Quest One, one thing to note is that your stats can actually change depending on what you name the character. So like you can have like a higher strength build, uh, higher strength stat, higher speed, higher magic just based on what name you give the character. So the, in some ways there is some replayability, but not I don't think it makes that much of a difference. At least I'm not sure anyway. Whoopi will raise its strength. Uh, we can find out. <laughs> There's a name generator thing. And we can look it up. Dragon Quest 1 Name Generator. I'm kind of curious. I know there's a way to find out. Uh, I know there was a website I could look up, but I don't remember. Because I wanted to look up what, uh, what I get. Is this it? This might be it. So, let's see. Only the first four characters of the name are actually counted. So if I... This is the uh, NES version. But it might transfer over. Let's see. So... It looks like my name currently, at least on the NES version, uh, it looks like... My strength and agility are standard, or either boosted, I'm not sure, but I lose max MP and HP. Those are penalized. And, uh, Poopy is actually the reverse. You have more MP and HP, but less strength and agility. It's like a difference of three or something like that. Oh, I, I never went in here. Yeah, I know. According to the ancient text, fairies know how to put the golem to sleep. I don't know if this mysterious power actually exists, though. But I have it, and I won't use it. We can store gold and items. We're going to start with items. I want to get rid of the fairy flute. Yes. Let's throw in the stone of sunlight because we'll, we don't need it right now. I forgot this was here. And we'll throw in the warrior's ring. Honestly, I have enough gold to buy the... What was it, the steel armor? Yeah, I have enough gold for steel armor. Let's go do that and get an upgrade. But first, let's sell the leather shield. And we'll also sell the torch, because I don't need that. Anything else around here? you got? Would you like to buy some holy water to ward off monsters? One bottle is about 12, is only 12 gold. It's basically repels, but I think I'll be fine. The battles are quick anyway. Um...
Let's go back to, I think it's Mirai, and buy steel armor. Eventually, we're going to want to get magic armor, but that's a lot of gold. And honestly, sometimes it's just like you're better off getting the extra defense points now while you can. I'm hoping to get a uh, zoom soon. Then we won't need Chimera Wings. Oh, wait. I think capitals actually make a difference in your name, too. Capitals do make a difference on your name. Again, I'm just looking at NES version. Okay. Yeah, even though I picked up the fairy flute, one the bad achievement is don't use it, so throw in storage. Besides, the fairy flute is only useful for the one fight, I think. Because I don't think it works on any other enemy. Although I didn't test it. I should have tested it on random enemies. See if it basically just casts the sleep spell for free. Because if it did that, it'd be worth it. You save MP that way. Alright. Steel armor for 3,000 thousand gold and I'm gonna sell the other armor the iron armor all right got that done I thought there might have been something with the well uh how many keys do I have two keys okay let's go and restock Get out of my way, dude. Yeah, let's go and restock on keys. And then after that, it's either we go through the graveyard. Or... Or we try to move on to another town, like when, where I thought the armor. I'm not sure. Oh no, because the item storage, I could go through the grave. Yeah, I could always just put the harp in storage. Yeah, we could do that. Go back through and grab the harp. I should be able to handle all the enemies that are down there anyway. Other than the magic armor, there's no other equipment that's better. So, yeah, we're going to have to move on to that new town soon anyway. Power armor with no missing pieces in full, and in full HP, too. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about Fallout. Most of the time, they uh, you have to repair them or something. I could kill wolves in a single hit now. Alright. 
Let's go. Oh, wait. I forgot. I need to go this way. It's either I should walk... No, I should go by a Chimera wing and just work back. I should have the money. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Because the only reason to come to this town now, more or less, is to just grab magic keys. It's a good chance it's missing pieces like a leg part or a chest part, and sometimes pieces that are there need some repair. And when you have an armor, can it get damaged so you have to repair it again? As well heal up and save. Is that my max HP? There we go. Might as well save while I have the chance. And I guess we'll go back to Durai. Or is that what I was called? Oh, whatever. Top left town. Turned. 688 experience for her level. We shall save. Yes, I will continue on the journey. Take care of that. Take care of that later. Far four power armor was completely reworked compared to all other games. Instead of being like clothing, it's a suit you get instead. Stood for. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm looking at some of the achievements. For, like, two of them, we might have to do something where I save before, go and get the achievements, and then reset a save. So that way we don't have to uh, start the entire game over just to get, like, one achievement. We might have to do something like that. But I think I'll take care of that later anyway. Come on, get in there. Uh, you take no fall damage. You get massive damage resistance to all damage and it boosts unarmed attacks. However, you do need to repair it and you need to get power cores to get it to run. Uh, so if it does take damage, you have to take the time to repair it. Okay, where did I need? What was the route? How often does it get damaged and you need to repair it? Like, is it just super easy to fix whenever it happens, or do you usually have to consider whether to repair it now or go with something else until you can? Again, it was like the third floor where I need to get back to. Yeah, I 
grab that treasure chest. Luckily, there's nothing for this area that says, oh, open every treasure chest. It's just the one item at the very end. Again, I could have bought Foley Waters. But honestly, every little bit of EXP helps. Oh, I didn't one-hit KO this guy. He probably had, like, literally one HP left. See, 25 experience is 25 experience. You can upgrade the power armor so it protects more, and pieces get more HP. Upgrading isn't hard at all, but they break off often, so you have to keep constantly doing this. Hmm. But it sounds like it doesn't take much to fix it, so it's, kind of, it's worth repairing. Is it the best armor, or is there better armor? Or can you... Uh, you or you just upgrade the armor, okay, probably. Alright. Made it down the floor. And I think we sh need to take the... this one. That was a dead end, I think. Alright, this is the floor we got to before I died. Hell ghosts! Oh no, I can't use a spell! Different power armor sets. Uh, okay. How much damage do I take from you now? Eight damage? Oh, this is nothing now. Thank you, steel armor. Thank you, steel armor. Fifteen damage? Okay, that's dangerous. But still two hits. Power armor is overall the strongest armor in the game. But there is a hierarchy of the sets. Huh. I, what did he try to do? I couldn't catch what he tried to <laughs> try to cast. It went too quickly. Okay, that's a loop. Six damage from fireball. Yeah. Troll mage is now not a problem anymore. I should probably heal myself though. Just in case I fight like a skeleton or something. Is that the staircase I need to go to? The bottom left one? Or is it one of those dead end ones? Oh no, the undead knight heal himself. But doesn't healing magic, like, hurt undead? It should. It really should. Dang it. He might have only had like one HP or something because normally it's like a two hit kill. Okay, I think we're making progress. Oh no, that's the top right corner. We're at the top right corner, okay. I thought I was making progress. But we got a level. Level 12. And we get outside. That I guess that is the evac spell. 
So that's nice. Yeah, we need to get down in that room. Yeah, sometimes those guys are two hit kills. Yeah, let's cast heal. So now if we're about to die and we're about to lose it, all my MP, we could just cast outside. Just to get out of the, this dungeon. Yeah, only six damage. Crits. Okay, bottom left staircase. Let's see. Where does this lead me? Oh, wait. Did I find it? Did I find the right way? Sometimes the random encounters get distracting sometimes. Oh, I need to cast Radiant again. Okay, I better heal. Oh, another staircase down. So we need a bottom left corner. Let's go south. I guess it doesn't really matter which way you go. Up the stairs. And here we find the silver harp. Search all that. I oh, didn't find anything. And that is an achievement. Don't dare play it. It tracks what random encounters. Oh, still sorry. Forgot I sh thought I shut that off. All right, so we got the silver harp. I could cast outside. I just want to check something very quick. Let's see. Okay, yeah, dead end. Let's cast outside. There we go. We got out of here. So with the harp, I think I need to take it to the shrine near Mirai. So let's head that way. Although I don't think you're so I don't think it told you you need that the harp there, but that's the trigger. Let's see. Gain two experience and four gold. Alright, now we're going to the shrine, so I think we can do this now. <sighs> Random encounters. Alright, 
over here. Hey, Gaming with Peppers, how's it going? Currently playing Super Nintendo Dragon Quest 1 with achievements. I'll show off what I've collected here in a second. We just got the silver harp. And we're going to the shrine. If the random encounters will let me. The <laughs> random encounters do not want me to go to the shrine. Alright. So I think we can do this now. Let's see. Wow, you attained the silver harp. Now I can... Now open the treasure box. We've obtained... The Rain Klaus Staff, or the Staff of Rain. There we go. What do you have to say? Scott Bot. I have waited a long time for the arrival of someone such as you. The thought of the world covered in darkness grows uncontrollably in the hearts of minds of people. Only you can stop that now. Go, Scott Bot. Go to the place where the sun and rain join. And with that... We got an achievement for... So, the achievements that we got so far is... Well, the first one's easy. Get the first magic key at, at the beginning of the game. Let a slime run away. Visit the graveyard, uh, the grave of Erdrick. Get your first puff puff. Obtain the fairy flute. Get every item inside the mountain cave. That's where the war warrior's ring is. Get the stones of sunlight. Obtain the silver harp. And obtain the, ra uh, the cloud step. Uh, the rain staff. That's what we got so far. Uh, let me close that out. There we go. All right. So now that we got the staff of rain, uh, the next thing that needs to be done is to start going to the bottom left. You played the Switch version. Yeah, I have played those too. They're they're good enough. I just kind of hate the art style of those mobile versions. It's kind of why I'm playing the Super Nintendo version, because I just think this looks the best. Still can't wait for a Dragon Quest 3 remake. If only that was going to come out. I wonder what's going on with that. Honestly, Dragon Quest 3 remake is looks so gorgeous based on that first trailer. It's in the Octopath style. I want more games to be in the Octopath style. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a Chimera wing. Wait, how many wait, how many keys do I have? Four? I think I'll be okay. But yeah. What Dragon Quest games have you played gaming with peppers? The only one I technically need to finish is six. Other than that, I played the others. Other than ten. But ten can't really play. Waiting for the trailer and release date. Aren't we all? Same thing with 12. Same thing with 12. And 10 offline. Waiting for all of that. Where's... Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, my dog's here. And didn't know what was going on. Alright. We don't need the Staff of Rain for a little bit. So we could just throw in storage. Closet. Items. Uh, rain crowd staff. Nope. Down there. Alright. I am going to heal up and I'm going to make a save. You've only played 11. I mean, that is a good game. It is. That moment I didn't know you played <laughs> Yeah, no, uh... I, I, I got into Dragon Quest more or less in the last... Actually, has it been like 10 years? Huh. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking back of when I played Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Color, and I think I picked those up like 10 years ago. Huh. Played Dragon Quest more than I thought. One, two, and 11. Okay, okay. 
Uh, not three yet, huh? Well, if you if you played one and two on the Switch, then you're gonna enjoy three when if, when you ever get to that. Or if you wait for the remake. Either way. Yeah. Current playing four. Uh, which version of four are you playing? One and two on the Super Fan for myself. Islands. DS has busted translation. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it, it's not that it's busted, Gueno. It's uh, Gueno. Whatever. It's not that it's busted. It's that they just didn't have time to complete all of the party talk dialogue. But that's what the iOS version added. To continue. All right, so I just made a save. I think this is a good time to get like two achievements, but I am also not gonna keep the save after doing that. Actually, we could get like three achievements. Yeah, four, five, and six I was playing through iOS, and I still haven't finished six. Did I upgrade the copper sword yet? No, I didn't. We're not there yet. We're not at the we're not at the final castle. <laughs> Cuz clearly that's where you upgrade your copper sword to the lightning sword. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go gather like 3 achievements, but the after I'm after I get the achievements I'm not going to save, and I'm going to reset the save. Just so we don't have to do multiple playthroughs. That's what I mean. Drag quest, but Switch version is an okay experience. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, it's basically the Super Nintendo game, but with worse visuals, but better music. Oh, yeah. Uh, the any... <sighs> Like, every version other than the NES version, like, increased the EXP in gold. So, like, any version other than the original is kind of a better experience. As someone who has never played the original NES version. Oh well, yeah, I'm currently playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2 because of the passing of Toriyama. I figured, hey, might as well play something Toriyama-related, you know? All right, we're gonna actually explore this cave. Try the NES, but then try the iOS and later Super Famicom version for Dragon Quest and everyone back. I can understand why you would do that. At some point, I do want to get myself an NES copy just to own, but I just haven't done it. <laughs> I was gonna say money, but no, like Dragon Quest One is cheap on the NES. All right. Use a magic key. Okay. And now, we shall go slay a dragon. Can he be put to sleep? No. And he does like 15 damage to me. I can attack one more time. So sleep doesn't work on him. So this is just basic war of attrition. Uh, he got a crit. Or use fire. I don't know. The text is going by so fast I can't tell what's happening. Plenty damage. Uh, we'll heal. Okay, we can attack again. Heal. 15, we can attack. Now this is a tough fight. Let's heal again. He's still alive. There we go, we defeated the dragon. And we got a level out of it. Too bad it's not going to be kept. At least not yet. Oh, and we got the return spell. And we save... Oh! At last, a valiant hero! 
My name is Laura. I am the princess of Radatome. If you had not come for me, someday I would have become the King Dragon's bride. Oh, how I shudder at the thought. You watch. I have not seen uh, Dragon Quest Adventures of Die. I have it like in my Netflix, save for list, save for later. Is it any good? I never really looked too much into it. Scottbot, since you rescued me, would you please escort me back to my castle? No. Why must thou treat me that way? If you had no. We have to say yes. Sub is good? Interesting. Finally, a second party member. We pick up the princess. And she gives us a kiss. Alright, and that, that, my friends, is one of the achievements that we could get right now. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Defeat the dragon and rescue Princess Laura. There's two more I'm gonna... Yeah, there's two more I'm gonna grab. So let me close that there. Yeah, I know the NES translation is But Thou Must. I honestly prefer that But Thou Must, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to the castle. We are first gonna go into town you beat the game yes i know and that's one of the achievements beat the game with while carrying her so we are uh, for another achievement while we're carrying her we're gonna talk to her the the escort if you will and we're just all gonna go into the inn for three gold The achievement was sleep with two other people in town. <laughs> that was the achievement. Uh, sleep with two other people at Radatome Town. By the way, in case you're wondering, I am using a a site called Retro Achievement. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, it is it is Retro Achievements. It's a fan site where they fans give achievements to older games. And I figured, eh, why not? Exactly. And now we go and deliver the princess back to the king. Oh, you've returned from rescuing the princess. I wish to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Laura, come... Come now to my side. Please take this. We hand, as she gives you the token of her love, the princess's love. I love you, Scapa. This is my love. Please accept it. Even if we're separated, my heart will always be with you. Now then, Scapa. Do you fantasize about me? No. Why? Am I not sexy enough? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, sure. I'm so delighted. Oh my. So that was also another achievement. Okay. Uh, so we got the princess's love. If you use it, you hear her voice. I guess she tells you how much love, how many experience you need to level up. That's clearly an issue. Hold on. There's another thing you do with this. I gotta leave the castle. So if I step away... This is his love. To reach the next level, blah blah blah. From where you stand, my castle is two to the north and five to the east. To find one of the items, you kinda need this to figure out where you need to be at but you also don't actually need it. But yeah, uh, as you'll see, one of the achievements was... Yeah, get, uh, get the princess's love. But here's the thing. Uh, bring Princess Laura to K King Dragon is one of the achievements. So, we are going to reset.
<laughs> the princess shall not be saved. She's going to have to stay in the in, stay there with the dragon. She's going to have to wait another day before I save her officially. <laughs> She's going to have to wait. You don't need the princess's love. I mean, on the first playthrough, you're going to need it. And also, I'm going to take this opportunity to drop it down to maybe three. And the princess has not been saved. Anyway. Okay, let me double check. Oh yeah, uh, Adventures of Die, wasn't that like a manga series created after the Dragon Quest games were made? What we learned from the one game I played, where you could turn into, where you can turn into a grown man, princesses are annoying. Wait, what game was I playing? Where I turned in, I'm trying to remember all the games I've played. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? Uh, I'm looking at the achievements and... Okay, I think I know. <coughs> it was that time in the past. Struggle against the vampires. Oh, was it Castle... Could turn into a grown man. Was it Castlevania? Because... That's like the only thing I can think of. Wait, was there a princess in Castlevania? No, there isn't, is there? What have I played? <laughs> I'm actually trying to think of like, what the vampires put a bomb strapped to the child. So I, oh, it was uh, Illusion of Gaia. That's right. Yeah, thank you. Now I remember, yeah. The princess, is, uh, the princess was annoying in Illusion of Gaia, wasn't she? But she did have character development here and there. It was an older anime of Die that had Dragon Quest. Oh, it had the Dragon Quest 2 music. But there is a new version that started like a few years ago, right? I know that one's on Netflix at the moment. Ah, uh, this is a counter rate. Yeah, the, the, that vampire boss fight in Illusion of the Gaia was annoying. Easily the hot, hardest boss of that game. Basically had to play a game with Bomberman with two vampires. It wasn't fun. It was not a fun time. Okay, let's see. If the counter rate will just chill for a second... So we will have to save the princess later. But just so I don't have to start another playthrough or anything, that's why we did the whole reset thing. Felt rushed. It was elevating the sword going forward. Hmm. All right, have a good day, Gawain, now. Uh, hope you have a good day. you are playing this for a little bit more. Yeah, I felt rushed, but it was elevating the story going forward. Are you talking about the original anime or the new one? And if I'm correct, it's just doing its own thing, right? Like, it's not really adapting the games, right? get the holy protection. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna need that. But I don't want to spend money on holy water. Okay. This is where I died. Fell asleep. Still asleep. Oh, you woke up. Let's put him to sleep again. Okay. He takes like three hits. Good to know. Yeah, sleep is your best friend. Okay, if it takes about three hits. The new anime is at the beginning. 
It's basically a reboot. That's nice. There we go. I know... Is it an adaptation of the manga? Or is it doing its own thing? Star Chimeras. Ouch. Can I heal? Nope. Too fast. I don't think I'm supposed to cross that bridge yet. <laughs> Enemies are too strong. Or should I have just tried casting sleep? <laughs> yeah, we'll record my journey. Yes, I will continue for a little bit longer. What's my money at? Uh, still 17k. Or 1700, my bad. Yeah, if I remember correctly, uh, the creator had like a con was had a connection in Shonen Jump. Like he was kind of working on the game and working as like a editor, not an editor, uh, like a like there was like this gaming these gaming articles in Shonen Jump at the time, and he used that opportunity to promote Dragon Quest. <laughs> it was it was definitely a conflict of interest, but. That it did help with Dragon Quest sales <coughs> in Japan. But I think because of that, that connection, Shonen Jump got the exclusive rights to make Dragon Quest manga. And that's where they got Dragon Quest Die because of that. That sounds right. Could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, keep going down. But I know nothing about the anime. Didn't wait. Didn't Dragon Quest Die get a like a a game in the last few years? I think it might have been a uh, Warriors like game, maybe. Or am I thinking of his appearance in Jump Force or something? You know, Jump Force, the game that got delisted de because no one liked it. Maybe I just need to give the anime a watch one of these days. Maybe even the manga. Wait, is the manga on the Shonen Jump app? I should look. Come on. Uh, uh, wait. Okay, hold on. Give me a sec. Dragon Quest. Well, Adventure of Die is on here. Let's see. Five volumes, 75 chapters? Okay. Eventually, I'm gonna have to give that a leap. <coughs> it was well received. Is it a Warriors game? Wait. It was not well received. Oh, okay. That's not annoying at all. Well, I might have to give it a read one of these days. Because I I have heard nothing about Die. There we go. I'm on Undead Knights. Still not... Still a two-hit KO right now. 72 EXP. I have to cross the bridge. Alright. Hmm. Again, if this was Final Fantasy, he'd be hurting himself right there. Yeah, I should heal up. 
You know, I could kill the dragon for the EXP. It's not a bad idea, and just don't save the princess. You can do that. I think how it works is if you turn the game off and turn it back on, the dragon will reappear. I think that's how it works. Uh, killer wolves. Actually, I should probably cast sleep. There we go. Woke up. I'm gonna say three hits. Okay, good. Three hits. Killed the dragon and didn't talk to her. <laughs> yeah, just go for the EXP. Who cares about the princess? And we got return spell. There we go. Still want to cast heal. Alright. Okay, we do need to mess around in there. And it will... Oh, I went the wrong way. Because that's where we need to go up there. Oh, well, we're going around. We're going to go through the swamp. Oh, we're dealing with dragons. Okay. Well, I did say to go back to the cave and fight a dragon. I guess he followed me. And I just decided I was super angry that I fought a dragon, so I got a crit. Alright. So we're gonna skip ahead in terms of, like... Well, let's just see if we kill the dragon or die. I don't know. The grind is... Yeah. It's okay. And I'm dead. Never mind. I was about to say, hey... We could get something done here, but no, uh, the dragons just decided, no, no, you're not. At least we have the return spell. So if I ever need to save, and yes, we will save. And we'll continue. I must have took a wrong turn somewhere. Because I, I really need to get to that other town. And that is the final town. The one we kind of saw in the corner. See, it's not that long of a game. <laughs> Maybe we should... No, I should go after the... I should go through the town first. How much gold do I have? Okay. I kind of... I, I think I lost a little bit, but... You know, whatever. Imagine if I was playing the NES version of this game. We'd probably still be at, like, the third town, probably. If I was playing the NES version. We'd probably be at the third town. Because the EXP is, like, double than what it was on the NES version. I know I keep saying it, but, like... So... At around an hour and 15 minutes, where was I <laughs> in this game? You know, that's basically where we probably would be if I was playing the NES. Now I really want, uh, uh, what was it? Repel. Uh, it seems like I'm not gonna get that spell for another, t like, two levels, I think. Yeah. And it's gonna be a while before we get that. I guess that's the reason why you would want to use, uh, the Holy Waters. 
But I also just don't want to use a magic key just to buy holy water, you know. I'd rather use my gold somewhere else. Okay, I guess we're fighting more of these guys. I think there's another path to the right. I think I went south too far. Okay, we're gonna skip this town for a second. This destroyed town. I forget if they explain when it got destroyed. They explain that the Dragon Lord's minions destroyed it. But I don't think they said, like, how long it has been destroyed. Oh! Death Scorpions. How much damage do I do? I didn't catch that. Uh, 19 damage? Okay. Okay, two hits. That's not bad. You're still three hits, as far as I'm aware. And he woke up, but I got a crit. So it evened out anyway. Okay, here's the bridge I think I need. Wait. No, hold on. There's, there's, there's like two or three routes to get to the... to get to the town. And one route is faster than the other. Let me heal up. We might have to take that bridge. That's probably where I need to go. I'm just double checking. <sighs> Fine. Again, it's like three hits for this guy. Still asleep. There we go. It's down around. Okay, nope. We have to go back to the other path. Metal slimes! Okay. Uh, at least now I know where they are. Okay. One hit. And he ran away. One of the achievements is killing a metal slime. Here's, so here's the thing about metal slimes. They have, like, 4 HP, but they have, like, max defense. So if you do hit them, you're dealing, like, 1 damage. But they also have a high chance of running away. If you manage to kill one, you get a lot of experience. Like, way more than normal. Yeah. But one of the achievements is killing a metal slime. So eventually we're gonna have to go and do that, but we'll worry about it later. Let's just see if I can beat the golem. We gotta take this path, okay. I forget the exact route for this area. Of course he woke up, fine. Let's just hope I'm fast enough. Yeah, I'm fast enough to only take one hit. Again, Metal Slimes have like 4 HP, but that chance to run away is very likely. I don't know the percent chance, but it, but it feels like it's 80% for them to run. It's ridiculous. Oh no, I fell asleep. Oh right, this is what I died to before. Okay, uh, let's cast sleep. It doesn't work on a magic chimera. Oh, whoops. Sleep doesn't work. What about stop spell? Alright. Okay. 
So sleep's not going to work, but definitely need to cast stop spell. This guy's like two or three hits. You know, if I manage to hit him. Oh, wow. This guy hits hard. And I'm dead. Well, time to try again. Oh no, you have died in battle! I'll give you another chance. But six times the charm, am I right? Yes, I'll continue the journey. Imagine trying to play this game without dying once. I wouldn't even want to attempt something like that. All it, all it would mean is just over-level in an area that can't kill you, you know what I mean? Alright. Time to head back and up and around. Yeah, if we make it to the town, we can fight the golem, but it's going to be a harder fight. That's for sure. Definitely going to be a harder fight. But yeah, uh, last year during the summer, I played through Dragon Quest VIII on emulator with achievements. And I got like all but two during that like... I think I was playing for like three months or something like that. Or over the course of three months. And I only missed two because one was missable and I didn't get it. And the other one would have been easier if I started over, at least I thought it would have. And so like the, a couple weeks ago, I decided, ah, oh, let's do a new playthrough and get those two. Yeah, uh, put a lot of time in Dragon Quest Eight. Still a good game. Yeah, one of the achievements in that was basically when you get to the point where you could go back to Trodane Castle, if you wait a certain amount of time, King Trode would be like, What are you doing? Why are you taking so long? Get on with it! And that's what you had to wait for. I was literally just letting the control, uh, letting the game just run while I did something else. And the game calls you out for it because it knows that's what you were doing. Oh, gold golems. Protecting itself. Two. Oh, only nine damage. That ain't bad. Six hundred and fifty gold. Yeah, that's a lot. Definitely worth grinding against gold golems. Definitely worth it. Okay. <sighs> Shadow Knights, that's what I died to last time. Okay, it's, it is two hits, but it seems to have high evasion. Alright. Where is it? There's the bridge. Oh, no! Okay. I know where I need to go. Now, I'm now remembering the other path. Because the maze I was going through is like kind of a longer path it like goes up and around and then there was the lower path with the swamp but there is a middle path so i think we need to go back down here N now i'm remembering i knew there was a more straight away option Come on, game. Literally, like, two steps. Yeah, 
Shadow Knights. Good. If I missed or if he went first, that could have gone badly. But hey, we're getting experience every time we attempt. Imagine if this was Final Fantasy 1, where every time you die, that's it. Game over. Reset your save. That'd be annoying. Alright. And he escaped before I could do anything. What a shock. Attempt number two on Metal Slimes. Okay. One damage. Oh, I missed. They have good evasion, too. It's still here. Two damage. Nope, he dodged again, and he escaped. You know what sucks? If I actually hit him every time, I would have gotten the kill. That's the annoying part. <laughs> he actually stayed long enough for me to kill him. But nope. That, that evasion... Alright, I remember you skip the first bridge and you go up and around. Okay. Go through the poison swamp, cast the sleep spell. Okay, still asleep, got the kill. All right, here we go. A fight with the golem. And one of the achievements is beat him without using the fairy flu because the, the villagers did say that the golem like will fall asleep to the fairy flu. And that's how you're supposed to do this fight. But the achievement's like, no, 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 no. You, you gotta actually try. Oh my God, what was that? 48 damage. Um, well then, something tells me we're going to need to grind. That, that's why you're supposed to use the fairy flute. That is why you're supposed to use the fairy flute. Okay, oh, oops. Now yeah, we're going to continue the journey. So something tells me we're going to need to do a bunch of level grinding. Maybe buy the magic armor. Get the pickaxe to kill him that way. If only. This isn't builders. This is not Dragon Quest builders. I feel like a lot of achievements in JRPGs would be some variation of grinding, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I can understand that. And to be fair, these are fan-made achievements. And sometimes they could go a little overboard, mostly in number, like the sheer amount of achievements they can have. Like, for example, uh, Dragon Quest VIII, which I said I completed, it has 208 achievements. That should tell you that sometimes they could go a little overboard. But yeah, uh, some of these ones are probably going to be just... You're going to have to level up. Get to level 200? Oh, wow. When this game's level cap is 30, that's that's going to be a big task. So it probably requires a cheating device to get to level 200. For a bronze medal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Honestly, that just sounds like Disgaea. Right there. Oh, you got to level 200. Here's your bronze medal. Now get to 9,999. I'm, I'm not joking about that. This guy, like, gets ridiculous with levels. <laughs> levels and stats really and it's like oh every item can have a level itself and you can power it up by going through the item world 
Disgaea is indeed a game. Disgaea 5 was so much fun. The only one I played was 2. And I have it on the PS2. Uh, but when I uh, beat the game, I'm just like, okay, I need a break. And I was going to come back to it later. But the problem is... Uh, my PS2 doesn't seem to work anymore. So... If I want to play Disgaea 2 again, I either need to start completely over or get one of those PS2 memory cards that can have like an SD card slot and try to copy my save over so I can continue on the emulator. All right. One other thing we're going to try. There's an item we can get here. You're not supposed to know it's here until later, but... We're going to make the attempt. Again, Dragon Quest 1 is very, like, I like its design where it's just like, oh, uh, if you know where it is, you can just go get it. You don't need to talk to specific NPCs. I gotta head out. Eat my cereal. Oh, I don't have any cereal. Anyway, have a good day, Hawkhorn Dog. We made it to level 14. Got 115 gold. Very nice. Oh, Master Wizards. Okay, let's just go stop spell. How much damage? Do you oh, even with physical attacks, he still dealt like 21 damage. Even like magic, magic use using enemies can deal a lot of physical damage. But I think they'll deal more if you if they have their spells. So, yeah. Definitely worth casting stop spell. And it also makes them, like, waste a turn sometimes. Stop spell. You think that would have stopped the fireball, but... Oh, well. Alright. Let's heal up. And we got a demon knight. Can he go put, get put to sleep? It doesn't work. But he tried to cast it on me, so it was kind of a wasted turn. Just attack and heal. That's all I can do. Wow, that was 34 damage. And I'm dead. Well then, so, uh, look, it seems like we're at the point where I kind of just need to level grind to continue. It seems like the Death Knight I might have a better shot of killing than the Golem, but I still need like a higher speed. Like, look, uh, okay, so... Achieve, kill a metal slime, and that's our best chance to level up. Defeat the golem, and then there's one for defeating the golem without the fairy flute. We can't get the shield yet. I tried that. I can go get that, but... Eh. Yeah, we're just at the point where we kind of need to level grind. So I can beat the golem and the... And the death knight. That's kind of where we're at right now. Basically, get a level and see if I'm strong enough. Maybe get the magic armor if I get enough money. But I'm going to be on. It's the same defense. It just means I get a little bit of HP. Better equipment somewhere. Is that part of the restrictions that you guys... Uh, that's what I was trying to do when I was fighting the death... Uh, when I was fighting the death knight. Because when you beat him... By... He's guarding the the Erdrick armor. And that give, that will give you better defenses and stuff. But at the moment, we have I think we have the best weapon, the best shield, and the armor's defensive-wise is on par to what I could get in magic armor. The, the golem's guarding the last town, so I can't get the best shield. 
I think this is a case of just level grinding. I think that's all this is. Um, yeah, if you're curious on looking at the achievements set here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna post a link. Okay. So there's a list of all the achievements for this set if you want to take a glance. Uh, I do think we'll wrap it up. This is not a bad spot to stop. Think about it, like, I got a lot done. I got a lot done this time. It's just the restriction of the fairy flute thing that's holding me back now, as well as the Death Knight. So I think tomorrow, we're gonna, when we go back to this, we are going to level grind. And that's the main goal. Gain a level, attempt the golem and Death Knight and see if we make any progress. But anyway, uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I am doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. I hope you have something to do while listening because it's going to be the level grinding session. Every level, try the boss again and see if anything changes. Maybe buy the magic armor if I have the money. Other than that, that's all I can really do. Anyway, have a good day. Later.